And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, hey, it's The Bonfire. We are live on Monday. I'm your host, Big J Okerson. That's your host, Dan Soder. Hello. We're on Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95, the number 844-COMEDY-9. The Bonfire at SiriusXM.com for emails and uh, at The Bonfire SXM on Twitter. Yes, and please, I do want to start stressing this. Follow us on Twitter uh, while you're listening to the show, or keep checking back on Twitter. Uh, we should say more that everything, everything that we talk about, every video we watch, every picture we look at, everything we do, all the Every content, smile we have, every is, uh, laugh we chuckle. Is being put up on uh, the bon at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. Uh, Christine is handling that. She's on top of it. Minute to minute, this thing is uh, right on track with the show. So you don't get to miss anything that we are looking at. I don't know what's going on right now. I mean, David Bowie, Lemmy. Yeah. And now we just hear breaking news. Glenn Fry. Lead singer of the Eagles. Glenn Fry, dead. Guitarist. I mean, very fitting. I know Martin Luther King. He wasn't the lead singer, I, I, was Martin Luther King had a dream that uh, one day our all of our best and brightest whites would be dropping like flies by threes. <laughs> Jacob had a dream that Glenn Fry would die on Martin Luther King Day. Oh, Jacob wanted this. Jacob, where were you an hour ago? Jacob, where's the voodoo doll? We know you hate Glenn Fry. We've talked about it before. I never liked him, but I mean, I'm not celebrating, but. No, you yeah, are I, fucking I'm, jacked. I'm, yeah, you did. Free at last! Free at last! Free! God Almighty! Goodbye, free funny man. Free of Glenn Fry at last! Jacob, why would you do that to such a moving speech? No, yeah. I was talking about Glenn Fry. Yeah, you did the Wayne Gretzky uh, fist pump when you heard <laughs> when Merck face told you. <laughs> would that explain, Jacob? You did that, a jumping uh, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Would that explain your T-shirt, Jacob, that says the heat is off on the front? <laughs> and on the back? Who turned the heat and on the back, it, on the back it says, good riddance to bad garbage? <laughs> yeah. You're a cold some bitch, Jacob. Jacob, A cold, cold some bitch. You're cold as ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're the only live radio show. Everything else is being run by robots. Oh, it's so weird. Basically, here. we're the John Connors of radio shows. He's like, we're working in the future. I don't know what's going on. That's my knock, by the way. Do you know that? Whenever I knock on a door, that's how I knock on a door. I go. Um, this place is so weird today because no one's here. Mm. I went in the bathroom. I don't go to the bathroom here a lot. You go a lot. I, well, all right, dude. Here's you say like, like I got a fucking problem. Prostatitis. Don't put I, that in my head as a hypochondriac. No, you it? pee a lot. I worry about your prostate. Don't say that. I pee once every night. It's okay, dude. My lung cancer's taking me down in a few months. You're going to be running this thing by yourself. Will you touch my pee hole? You think I'm above Martin Luther King's dream? I don't think so. Um, the, the, the urinals here, everyone, I went down the line, not even sure why, I just wanted to see. Mm-hmm. Every urinal here. Has, Wait, you just inspected the yeah, urinal. Every urinal here has. What are you, a Japanese a, businessman? Yes. <laughs> Eat your one I smell first. That's a petty kicker. Do you bigger? That's the way to smell. Dude, every urinal here. Yeah. Has so, an insane amount of pubes in them. What? Do you think, pubes. Do you think that's how they garnish yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, it's, it's everyone leaves their Zorro mark. <laughs> yeah. Just take a piss and oh, just pull out a couple stragglers and I, leave them hanging. I took it like they when they put sliced radishes on a dish to really Oh, garnish. Yeah, a garnish. Oh. When they pee and they go, let me garnish this. Maybe that's what it is. Piss soup. Maybe that makes sense. There's garnish involved. That was great. We had a day today. But hey, we had a full day. It was just a bonfire hang in the Paramus. Bonfire hang. We uh, in Paramus, pur purposeful, New Jersey. purposefully avoided. The talk before we get into our awesome car ride, um, we've been avoiding because we've been going back and forth on Twitter a little bit. The yeah. great, great football news. Is it great news? I think that you just said that with an air of being well, I mean. feel pretty good. The big news in football, the Eagles fire Chip Kelly the oh. day after it's over, sight unseen. That's great football news, is it not? Yeah, but another man's garbage is another man's uh, garbage. Want, <laughs> want to put a gun in his mouth. The 49ers hired Chip Kelly as the head coach. Oh, I mean, he's so happy. Remember we were doing that dance around? We were making the joke about him sitting on hold, Chip Kelly with the 49ers, yeah. laughably saying there's no way they're going to pick him up. And then they did. Now you're keeping your fucking oh, string God. bean quarterback. No, it's not even that he's a string bean. It's that he's a douche. He's like a, he's like a pool DJ. Yeah. 
That's we're gonna what, fi- we're gonna if Colin out. Kaepernick wasn't an NFL quarterback, he'd be DJing a Vegas pool party. You're going to find out him and Johnny Manziel are sucking each other off and fucking <laughs> in the bathroom at Lavo. <laughs> yeah, I just really think the read option really doesn't run as well as it used to. <laughs> and then Chip Kelly, that fucking hunk of garbage in a sweater vest. You know what? Here's the thing, though. And I'll just be completely transparent. If they win, I will be like, yeah. <laughs> Chip Kelly's got it together. Yeah. That's, that's why I've reached this stage of acceptance with this hire. Like, you know, one of the stages of uh, da- of death is that I've, it's acceptance now. Al Madrigal, my buddy. Uh, of course. Uh, it's going to be with Who's a huge 49er fan. Called, we, we, we talked about it. He talked me through it. Did he try to give you a whole bunch of, like, it's not that bad? It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was 10 and 6. He was 10 and 6 in two seasons in Philly. 10 and 6 in two seasons when he had no control over the personnel. And they're saying he's not going to have any control over the personnel. That's great. So maybe he's going to be all right. He runs a very fun offense if it works. It's like dating a crazy When chick. it doesn't work, when you don't have the players to make that thing work, it's you watch your offense play for 15 seconds in a stretch. Yeah. It. It's like when you three and outs, three and outs on hurry up offense is the most boring football to watch. Yeah. And didn't work. And didn't work. Yeah, run nothing. Run two yards. Incomplete pass. Defense get back on the field. The defense is exhausted. <laughs> just winded. What? <laughs> just get a bunch, of, bunch of marathon runners, bunch of Kenyans. <laughs> I do not understand the soft cover too. I will not run it. I'm outrunning everybody. We blitz the cornerback. He sees it the entire time. He um. He, but you're going to hate, you are going to fucking hate that confused looking face on his dumb, fat chipmunk head. He really does look, he looks like every SWAT team leader. What? He, do, he has George W. Bush confused face. Huh? What? 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 Wait, so, what? Should I hit the towers? I, so, throw the flag? Hey, what do you want? This so, guy, wait a minute. Hang on. I, wait, but, what? Who? Yeah. No, yeah. So, yeah. So, I, but I called. What? Wait, oh, wait. What does the time out mean? Ref. I. The game's over. It's happening. <laughs> Game over. What? Chip W. Kelly. Uh, oh, come on. What? Uh, oh. Uh, uh, we're just, by the way, we're just looking at pictures of him on Google of him being confused. Yeah. And, or, and is this just... Bing? Jacobs, is this Bing? You know it's Google, Bing. Actually. It's Google. Google what, what did Bing do to no you? porn. Oh, all right. Why don't you? <laughs> yep. No. If you want to see his junk, I nah. go to Bing. <laughs> there you go. Look up Chip Kelly's dick on Bing and see what we come up with. I'm you pretty excited about find that. it. No prob with that. Uh, happy Martin Luther King Day you to everybody. It's uh, a, a, a huge holiday now. Now it's official. We went to the mall, and it was packed. Packed. So many hot mall chicks. Yeah, we were way in. You forget, you forget what kind of hot girls malls attract, and it's a specific type. I know, because... Hot, a little crazy, cr- kind of dumb. Yeah, Christine's got her finger on the pulse of the youth of today. Yeah. Even though she is a geezerly thirty, no, um, young lady, but she's got the thing. She's just the stretch pants and the uh, not stretch, you know, the, the leggings and the sweater look. Yeah, and uh, I think she looks great in it. But that's um, all over the mall. Yeah, just young, tight, fucking girls in that outfit. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. You really see the legs. You get to see the yams. Yeah. Oh, and then that one we saw a girl well, at a kiosk. Well, that's weird. That made soda made it make a an, a an angry face. She was so hot, I was angry. I was <laughs> visibly upset. I, I walked by her like this, just like what? Yeah, I was, I was laughing. I was like, holy shit! Wow. I, I mean, I'm doing all the noises and being funny and saying funny things, and soda just had like a like your brow was furrowed and like the, a like a cop approaching a murder scene. Yeah, you're like like you don't want to open the box, but you got to open the box. What's open the, in the box? box? Open the open box! The Come box. on! Come on! No, they uh as but we and we even talked about that at the mall. There is something specific about kiosk hot. The kiosk girls tend to be the hottest. They are mall and kiosk girls are always the hottest. I explained to Jay that kiosk like girls that are kiosk hot. They're like running backs. They have like three really good years, and then they just fall off. Yeah. And then they're just doing analysts on Fox. They're analysts on Fox halftime show. And then she just like fucking takes over a small town in the woods, like yeah. Rambo. Yeah. Because <laughs> now I can't even get a job doing half-face makeovers. Dude, goddamn. Jay and I were laughing. We were listening to uh, Motorhead. Rest in peace, Lemmy. And Lemmy died? Yeah, dude. <sighs> it's okay. Hey. Hey, up here, up here. Shh, hey, we didn't do it. Okay, okay. But we found out if you sing Ace of Spades like Rambo. <laughs> there was blood everywhere. 
It's all the same to me. To go walk and go. We realize me and Soda don't, don't all know the lyrics to every song, but we know how to sound like everybody in every song. And, yeah. you can, and almost every song you can get through if you just sound like the person. You just gotta catch the bitch. Yeah. <laughs> just do it. Apple, 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 can't get a job. <laughs> this one is the only brand in the heat. Colonel Trotman. Dibba, dibba, dibba. You said we'd be okay. <laughs> I just wanted to he visit thinks. my friend. He can eat things that make a billy goat puke. <laughs> Uh, what else were we doing in the car? We, oh, we were having such great sing-alongs. Uh, we did Be- Beastie Boys. You nailed without saying an actual word. Oh, Jake, yeah. Jake can do Beastie Boys. Perfect. Uh, just do uh, Sabotage. Some intergalactic? Uh, it was, yeah. Any of them. I oh, think Intergalactic did, is good, though. Yeah. We had license, uh, Time to Get Ill was what we were listening to. Yeah, because you know. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this is Jay's one-man Beastie Boy. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm busting open. Get it. Man, this thing's got a sick long intro. <laughs> it's really breaking it down. <laughs> it's so long. <laughs> we were walking around the Paramus Mall just doing Beastie Boys into the fish lens. <laughs> That's how we do show prep. That's it. We just walk around the mall. Dude, we got- and then we found the softer side of us. How about uh, when we... Oh, you want to hear a harmony right now? Pop on a little if you leave me now. A little Chicago. You want to hear two men find become one? Yeah, people on the New Jersey Turnpike had no idea that we were just... Oh, they, probably thought, oh, they probably thought we were making like a meth delivery or something, the way we look, <laughs> but no. In a rental car? Inside the car, the sweet sounds of Peter C. He's hung Did you go to the end of the song, Lou? I want to hit my when he hits such in those improvs. <laughs> James, James, you know, yeah, I know the I'm most all. subtle Peter Peter Cetera's. Anything Cetera, I'll tell you. I'll walk you right through it, note for note. <laughs> um. Ooh, mama, I just got to have your love again. Peter, get back here. Sing the song. <laughs> Ooh, mama. Stop taking that on a walk. Are you wondering, Lou? You're probably wondering what we rounded it off with. I'll tell you what, Kenny Rogers' lady, oh. put it on. <laughs> You want to hear some vibrato in my voice? I'm not going to lie. When it, I, the song is so sweet, I daydreamed Kenny Rogers just blowing some older lady back out. No, really? Yeah. I thought so. It's almost even more like genuine than that. It's like, I really just pictured like slaying in a field with a girl I like. Oh, no. I imagine Kenny Rogers has got her by his forearm on her lower back. Oh, yeah. Let that go, though. I'm your night. Oh, my God. I wish my hair was feathered in the front. And I love you. Oh, my God. I would have an open shirt. I would smell. Oh, here we go. What I am. I am you. <laughs> just good music right there. I just imagine him button your shirt to this. My One time a dude came over and tried to. Uh, oh, that right, dude, did I describe that outfit to you right yeah, there? Look at that Kenny it. Rogers right there. Lady, official video. Oh. Christine, get that out. Look at his dick run down the side of his leg. <laughs> he didn't fuck around, dude. It looks like, he looks like a uh, oh in the round oh, yeah, he didn't fuck around dude. he looks like a, one of those pen- like super popular preachers but instead of serving God he serves dick me such a fool see he just doesn't talk about playing cards I'm so lost <laughs> every mom out there just wants to lay back and let Kenny Rogers just do oh, his thing. I'm not gonna. Lie. I just know for. I don't even have to guess. I know. Merck, Face, Lou, and Jacob are boning up a little bit right now. Yeah. Jacob, you got the benefit of watching the video as it's happening. He looks like fucking Teen Wolf's dad. Yeah, I was just movie. gonna say he looks like a sexy coward, <laughs> cowardly lion. Dude, a guy came over trying to lay pipe in my mom when I was a kid. And he brought an acoustic guitar and came in and just played this for my mom. Did and you just come- sang it to her? And I was just sitting there in pajamas, like this is so uncomfortable. How great would it have been if you walked down the stairs in pajamas and started duetting with him? Oh, I'll nail right here. This is me and this guy right now. Yeah. Turn it up, Lou. Look at that. Oh, look at him hold them notes. In my- yeah. 
So when I was, uh, no I swear I've told this story. Lou, I've told the Kenny Rogers story before on this show, right? Uh, yeah. Right? When you met him? Y yeah. Jay doesn't remember it. We smoke so much pot, dude. He was here a couple it, of months It's hard ago. to tell whether Same you told again. it outside or in here in, on the air. <clears throat> when I was 16, I worked for uh, I worked at Fiddler's Green, which is an outdoor amphitheater. Turn this up while he sings it. <laughs> in Denver. And uh, one Kenny Rogers was, was playing there one night. And I worked at the back where I had to check everyone's credentials to get cars in backstage. If you didn't have a pass, you didn't get in. Okay? Dan Soder doesn't fuck around. Follows the rules. I bet if you were hearing the song at the time, you let him in. And decide. An expedition pulls up. An Eddie Bauer edition. Is where. <laughs> Window rolls down. I Sir, can I see your pass? I don't have a pass. I'm sorry, I can't let you back here without a pass. And in the passenger seat, leaning forward, is a white bearded gentleman who just goes, <laughs> I'm Kenny Rogers. And I was like, I want you. You are. Just go. You're the love of my life. You're my soldier. You're my lady. I'll see you later, Kenny. <laughs> Just go. And then I watched a girl beat up her boyfriend during gambling. <laughs> <laughs> go, Kenny. I know this was just no fling. I know you can't be held down. Let my heart go. What kind of tail you think Kenny Rogers crushed, man? Great, fat-titted diner waitress. <laughs> yeah, dude, he was so awesome looking. He was. He really is. The only way you can describe him is dad from Teen Wolf or sexy, cowardly lion. Look at him go. You have a lot. Can you, can you put on a live video, Jacob, of him and Dolly Parton just going at it? Oh, uh, do you think they fucked? Uh, yes. Do I think they fucked? You can't look in that guy's eyes while he's hitting those notes and not fuck him. What about Donnie? What about Donnie pa Dolly Parton and her blouse hounds? Oh, those are natural. You know, I just want to see. This is going to be a younger Dolly Parton. Yes, top heavy. Christine got live. Up. Oh yeah, she did. Christine knows what's up. Oh, right there. No, not. The, I want to see him do it old. Go when they're young up there. Yeah. Oh God, let me put on my glasses. I want to watch this, and I need to wear my glasses. You do something to me that I can't explain. I don't know the words to all this shit. Oh, yeah, get that full screen, Jacob. Look at him. He looks like an evil... He looks like a bad guy from a Swayze movie. Oh, could that be a little taste of what's coming later in the show? Could be. No. Oh, she was so hot. She was, dude. She, and I like your squirrel voice. So many, so many fake nudes, but never a real one. She's classy. Was she married the whole time? Yeah. I don't Same know. guy. She just got divorced. She just got divorced, so yeah, she's on the market. Married. Yeah, she's the hottest seventy-year-old going. She's still fu uh, Christy Brinkley's up, but she's yeah. sixty. Something. Christy yeah. Brinkley seventy? No, she's sixty, I think. Dolly's in her. I think Dolly's in her seventies. Oh, Dolly Parton's still fuckable, but young Dolly Parton was something. Up. Bring up those pictures from like, you know, uh, what was the best little whorehouse in Texas and shit like that. Oh, oh, you're Lordy. Right. Oh, yeah, right, bro. Oh. I'm not, Jay, not now. <laughs> Yeah. No shit, dude. She was just unbelievable. What a classy, classy lady. You think she... Oh, I bet she was a sloppy hole in the bedroom. You think so? Oh, you could just punch fuck her and she's like... Well, bring it on, kiddo. Oh, well, look who's here, mister. <laughs> you want to shove your dick in between my big old boobies? <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Where do I want you to finish? Why all these, of course. Why, why don't... I got myself a nice little cum table right here on my chest. Throw a little chicken on these waffles. Yeah. Why don't you break open that egg right here? <laughs> hey, go back. Go back one, because I'm about to seriously... Yeah, is that real? No, it's not real. <laughs> oh, man. I almost just started beating like a circus chip. <laughs> <laughs> is that one of the... I mean, look at that. Yeah, they're insane. Yeah. That's her now. Oh, she oh, does look ridiculous now. No. No. Yeah, they're not good now anymore. Come on, stranger. Oh, but nine Look. to five, Dolly Parton? Come on. I'm working six to 12 right now, if you know what I mean. Well, I do know what you mean. <laughs> I'm blowing it up. It's high noon on my sundial. <laughs> that was my favorite Beavis and Butthead line of all time. Yeah. It's high noon on my sundial. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. It's... Your dad! And the bonfire.
And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh. It's the bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Glenn Fry. You did it, Jacob. You did it, Jacob. You willed his death. <laughs> like Damien from The Omen. It's for you. This is for you, Jacob. This is all for you, Jacob. <laughs> you killed Glenn Fry. You willed son it. Son of a bitch. You willed it. You son of a bitch. We should make this a new... I'm doing this a little impromptu right here. Okay. But uh, we should start doing this. When we have... I, I feel... Here's what I hate. What do you hate? So I think I pulled the curtains before. The callers getting like stuffed up and they wait on hold. Welcome to... And if you want to wait on hold... Hold because on. that's how you hear the show or something. I have no problem with that at all. But yeah. anything we could answer without taking the call, we should get and swing past because I feel bad having them sit there. But I don't want to tell Merc Face to tell him, you know, somebody has to tell him, nah, like, you know, this, you know what this is? This is our newest segment called so Jay think, Gets Real. I think we just say, Mark from Texas, we don't take the call, but Jay, would you ever do Foxhole stuff again? It's where you first heard me. Uh, I would do, yeah, anything on Fox, Foxhole. Uh, What's Foxhole? It's Jamie Foxx's channel on Sirius XM. Uh, there's nothing them to do on it, but if they play, uh, they're more than welcome to play my stuff. They have my stuff, so they play it on some, whatever they have, they have. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of people come to me and say they heard me on the Foxhole before. I think that's cool. It's cool all they right. played me on that from all the, uh, I did a lot of black shows. There you go, Mark. So Mark in Texas, uh, absolutely. If they have any of my stuff, they want to play, they, by all means, they can. And uh, do we ever think about doing a sports show? Nicholas, North Carolina. Uh, we do, we'll do. we do shows probably that have a lot of sports talk because it's happening, especially when football comes up. And I'm cackling at Soda Weekly about that coaching shit. Oh, cool. So you can't wait to hear our friendship dissolve when I start losing my shit because Chip Kelly has driven the San Francisco 49ers already deeper into the ground than they oh. and fucking Pittsburgh face Tom Sula did. Him and uh, Kaepernick are going to be out together getting their dick sucked at uh, strip clubs. Just by a chick with the, just rock tits that are separated on her chest. Oh, she's They're 40. Even... She's still holding together. Her ass is great, but you can see how fake those ripped tits are. <laughs> ripped tits. Um, so, uh, oh, Nicholas, to answer that, uh, we, we would never do out of, I mean, would I ever think about doing it? I guess so. But I mean, uh, I no, I, I don't think we're, I'm a sports guy. I don't know if at all sports. I know tons fan. about Philly shit. Um, and then uh, Matt in New York, we're going to look at this up right now. He says Chip Kelly looks like an animated Mrs. Claus. Let's look into that. I agree with him, Matt. Thanks for, the, uh, for that call. And we're going to check it out right now. Look at you just fucking clearing shit. Yeah. yeah, see what it is. But the other things Slash that are on here, and burn, yeah. The other things that are on here made things that we could talk about, possibly. Maybe. Kind of. I mean, we're getting. That, I mean, on, on the break, we were watching Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers more other songs they've done. That's all we did. It's really. It's insane how hot she is. If Dolly Parton was something else. I right? think she's super underrated. You got to go back. You know what's funny? What was it? in the cabs right now? They're showing a thing with young Marlo Thomas. Okay. And, and I was watching with Christine, and Christine was like, "Man, she was so beautiful." I go, "She was more like regular beautiful." You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That basically, there's something about people when you go back and you're like, "Holy shit, looking." Yeah. Sophia Loren. Sophia Loren was pretty holy shit looking when she was younger, yeah. Yeah. Pretty amazing. But I never thought that, uh, <gasps> what's her name, the mom from The Who? Yeah. I never thought she was much of an, I mean, she's always, oh, she's hot. She was like a really cute girl, but I didn't think there was anything that stood out about her. You know what's her, you know who's crazy? What's her name? Who am I thinking of? Uh, the mom in Tommy The Who, uh. Oh, Anne Margaret. Yeah. Anne Margaret. I like to see, I'm, well, a, she's, I'm, she, a, I'm a huge Anne Margaret fan. When she was young? Yeah. She didn't Love blow me away. I mean, she's beautiful. I'm not even sort of arguing how this. beautiful she was. What about a young, hot Sally Field? Super hot. Right? Sally Field looked different. Can I just tell you who holds up? I'd have, plop, I'd have plopped Sally Field in fucking punchline. Yeah. Taking we, John Goodman's sloppy seconds with that fucking... Hey, oh, I bet he had hey, meat sweats. Hey, hey, don't talk about Dan Connor that way. <laughs> King Ralph does not. Hey, what are you that. doing out there doing comedy at night, Rosie? Um, yeah, dude, she's crazy. Uh, she's pretty hot. You know who holds up? And we always quote Desperado, Selma Hayek. Dude, I sat next to her at a table read. No shit, and she is crazy. Did hot. you finish on her on her blouse? No, I just didn't. I couldn't say anything. I said three words to her. Young Sel Selma Hayek in Desperado, very specifically though. I mean, she's I don't a, care. She's a beautiful woman, but she's still gorgeous, of course. But in Desperado. She was insanely beautiful. Yes. Yes. Where do you want to come? <laughs> Where do you want to come? No. No. No, idea. no idea. Look at that. No, that's, that's not her. That's but, not her, but look at that. But look at that. Yeah. No, she's... Yeah. She's so hot. Salma Hayek's one of the hottest. She's gorgeous. But Desperado Salma Hayek. Go to that picture. 
I remember watching <laughs> such racist music. It feels like. It's the theme from Desperado. It's from the movie. Yeah, it's with him and the three guys are singing. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's racist. Oh, right there. That's the picture. Right. Oh, oh, you fucking pig. Whoa, Jay, say nice things about it. No, I hope her puss smells like saffron or something, no. so it makes me feel bad. Oh, oh titties what? are blowing that thing out. Oh, my God. It's like a high voltage. <laughs> Just blowing that socket out. Look at those sombrero stretchers. I was trying to find some good alliteration. Jesus Christ. Salma Hayek, dude. Who did she date back then? If you could jack off to not dirty pictures like I can't. Yeah, you're incapable. I can still do it because I'm a little boy. <laughs> I mean, if you could, yeah. But here's, but here's someone who's cleavage still. Here's does someone it for who's me. found widely just like amazingly beautiful. And I get it. I get exactly what people are saying. <gasps> But I don't give a shit about is who is uh what's the modern family chick? <laughs> what Sophia Vergara? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying, Lou? I feel like you're making the same. She's gorgeous, obviously, but I just kind of don't give a shit. I think she was better when she was younger. She was great. Remember Knights well, of, of Columbus? Course. Remember that show, Knights of Columbus? What? No one watched that. It was on Fox. Was, I know. It was Don wasn't it one of Donald Loge's seventy-five gazillion projects? Wait, do you mean Robert Loge? No, uh... You mean Robert Loja, who passed away. <laughs> or for Robert Loja. That was my one of my favorite Family Guy jokes. All that's, right, you goddamn son. <laughs> well, that's gonna, gonna go into Nolte. Hell, hell, come on, he, uh, he, he didn't want it. He didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite, the meltdown speech from Blue yeah. Chips. We get, we offered them cars, and he didn't want it. He didn't want to play basketball. <laughs> I gotta get my car. <laughs> you guys start orgasming like Nick Nolte. I'm gonna finish over here in your hair. I pull out the gum on her face and she doesn't want it. You were we're after dinner and she takes off my slacks and starts boy. Yeah, Sophia Vergara, dude. Whatever it is, I just like fuck you. She's crazy hot. Of course she is. But isn't there something about being crazy hot and what strikes you? Well, yeah, well, like a different. There's definitely girl. I, but you don't have like TV dream girls where you're like, no one else really gives that much of a shit. I always. What's funny about TV dream girls is when you like a girl, then you find out she's popular. You feel hack. Like remember Minka, oh, yeah, yeah, Minka yeah. Kelly on Friday Night Lights? No, I never watched that show. I like. I saw her. And I, I know like, her name got like really big. Yeah, she started dating Jeter, but I remember seeing her on Friday Night Lights, and I was like, well, I was, you know, I'm the only person that knows about Lila Garrity. Like, well, everybody does. Be like, well, turns out everyone's way into that. Yeah. I, uh, that's why I said, man, I said that, that, uh, and she's 18 now, so it's not so creepy. Okay, cool. But it's, uh, the, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz. Like, I think that girl's, like, beautiful. That? I think it's a beautiful chick. <laughs> you know who I was oddly into? The younger daughter from Modern Family. She's, I think she's 18. Please, God, let her be 18. The, you know what I'm talking about? The, with the glasses. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, not her. Yeah, but no, but she has massive boobs. <laughs> That's just like, I saw it and I was like, oh, God, please let her be <laughs> I just think that chick's beautiful, and she's like, yeah, she like just turned eighteen. She's fucking. Oh, hot, she's yeah. from Kickass. Yes. Yeah, she's crazy hot. Yeah. All right. Crazy hot. All right. Stop looking at me like. No, nah, she's fight so me. hot. You want to fight me? Where's she at? We sh we shared a sleep number. Chloe hey, Grace Moretz, you're out there. You want to help me find my lost dog? Yeah. We'll just circle the neighborhood in my van a little bit. She is crazy hot. Yeah, but she has a very like distinct, unique look. Do you know what I mean? Like she's very unique looking. Yeah. Chick, that's why I think she's beautiful. That's, that stands out to me a lot more. Like yep. Sophia Vergara. Wait, I mean, Sophia Vergara is, yeah. Being yeah. that shit, Jacob. Being some low neckline. <laughs> low neckline? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. You don't I like that. About... Oh, no, I, listen, she's gorgeous. I just get it. Yeah. I don't know what it is. She has big, huge fucking titties. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, she just looked, you know what it is? Here's the thing. Sofia Vergara in fucking Miami Beach hey. is a goddamn dime a dozen. All right. I mean, I know. Oh, yeah. There's just tons. If you go on the beach once in South Beach, Miami, you're going to see 20 women that look that good. Versus Chloe. It's just, you, I'm not saying there's going to be. Uh, Sofia Vergara probably has a way better body than Chloe Grace, you know what I mean? Like, and all those things and more. But she's just a very pretty girl. That she, I find her more striking. I find Dolly Parton hotter than Sofia Vergara. Yeah, young Dolly Parton is the shit. Who's arguing that? Why are we not playing more Kenny Rogers Dolly Parton music? Did they have sex? 
Oh, good news. Uh, sorry, we looked it up, and that girl you want to bang from Modern Family no! is 17 now. No! That no! means That means a Modern no! Family. <laughs> no, I never said that. You want to hear something? My daughter, you know, my daughter's 13, and I felt, I felt those feelings about the girl who played <laughs> iCarly's friend. But I think she's 18 now. Can you look up who iCarly's friend is from Nickelodeon? Hi, Carly's friend was, was a cute <laughs> chick. I'm going to jump in the pool with you, Dan, because I'm your friend. I won't let you out. <laughs> She's only man. five years old. Is that what you're holding up your hand for? <laughs> oh, thank God. That scared the shit. She's not. I, didn't, I meant the older one. The one that plays the older yeah. daughter. She's definitely. She's 17, you piece of garbage. <laughs> no, I didn't say That's who you meant. <laughs> you not. said the younger daughter. Oh, you're garbage. <laughs> you are such trash. You know who's really hot? The Olsen twins, when they were on Full House. <laughs> Bro, in those mystery movies. Before I before I drop the hammer on the story, let me start off by saying I fucked twins last night. Now what? What remember? if I were to tell you they were famous twins? Get the fuck out of here! Now go back in time <laughs> when they were solving mysteries for straight straight to video movies. Do you remember when they had their clothing line at Walmart? You got it, dude. <laughs> Do we have? Or we have to find out who I Carly's friend. Well, can you get off the Nickelodeon page? <laughs> this is years ago now. Uh, Jacob pulled the most innocent. God damn it! Yeah, now you really made. You know what? Thanks for doing that, Jay. God damn it! You're a good friend. God damn right. Joe from Chicago tells us the Modern Family daughter actually had a boob reduction, so that's pretty good to know. She got rid of her TF for so you stop eyeball eye fucking her a child. <laughs> you piece of garbage. Jeanette McCurdy. Jeanette McCurdy. Well, she's not aging as good as I thought she would in the thing. No, she's hot. She's a cute chick. Maybe I have a type. I think you have a type. I think we're finding this out, and so do I. I like busty Latinas. Because she sort of looks like uh, the other, like the uh, Chloe Grace Moretz girl. What would we call yours? If we called mine busty Latinas, we'd call yours, like, white? Uh, legal. <laughs> Creep. You creepy piece of shit. <laughs> How old is she? 23. Yes. Uh, That's not a good. Too much makeup. Whore. Right. What Jesus. happened? What Would she... her dad leave? Come on, get some pictures of her looking a little more innocent. Stop treating her like a small town preacher. Whoa. Hey. No dancing in this part of town. Norman, get on the mic. No, I'll wait. No. <laughs> yeah. We got the real deal in the in the studio. I'm gonna bump this guy. Fresh the from deal. the real deal's here. Fresh from Tuesdays with stories. Hey, hey, hey. And the Impractical Jokers Cruise. Ah, that was the real one. Ah, <laughs> Jesus, how do you guys listen to that daily? That's brutal. Uh, uh, this chick's got four chins. Oh, you turned on, you Jeanette, turned on her? Jeanette McCurdy? Not a fan. Really? Nah. Yes. Oh, no way. Fan. Oh. Fucking fantastic. Oh, the golf show's here. We Don't thought we were alone in the building. The golf show is here. That wow. guy doesn't even smile at us. Dude, he wears orange all the time, Norman. Uh -huh. And we like looked him up, and he, like, this guy Ben on this golf show, he wears orange all the time. Yeah. And our fans prank phone called them, and we listened. And one of our fans asked him what's up with all the orange, and he, like, stumbled and really couldn't answer it. Oh, it's like Leno with the denim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. weird. Oh, yeah. And we had people call and ask him about wearing orange, and it was just, uh, here's the thing. Well, here's what's going on. The chick on the show, she's hot for our sticks. <laughs> but this dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's, hang, what's on, hang on. I'm going to argue with Mark Norman here real quick. Uh, Tony in New York, please, thank you for the support. I appreciate it, Tony. Not, not a problem, man. What's up, dude? Hey, I so I worked at a Starbucks up at school in upstate New York, and they had this festival. Jeanette McCurdy came through. She walks in, orders orders a frappuccino, and leaves. And I was like, I know that girl from somewhere. Whatever, she was hot. I yeah. looked her up later. I was like, oh, my God. She's on Nickelodeon. I don't know if I should tell my friends about this yet. And then she had those, like, pictures that came out, and I was like, all right, all right, guys, she's hot. I called it. Oh, she had, was she had fappening pictures? She has like the found my phone pictures. Oh, oh go go! Don't even go just to that one. Go to her picture uh, hack phone hack. Yes, yeah, dude. Jacob, not, Jacob, not, like, just overly. They're not like the craziest of crazy, but you could tell like she knows what she's doing with the camera. Jacob just sure. threw his pencil and jumped on Bing, <laughs> like he was going to save someone from the show's fucking life. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh oh, thanks, Tony. God, thanks. Thanks thank so you. much for uh, such a great show. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely. 
Oh wow, that's a great caboose. I was going to ask if he, <laughs> I was going to ask if he gave her extra foam in her latte. Caboose, uh, mm. gagee, <laughs> bo. <laughs> See if Deb wants to come over. Is that a real deal? Oh yeah, oh, we wow. got time. I take it all back. She's hot. You know what? We do have time. Someone has to go see if Deb wants to come swing over here for a second. And oh, talk to that's us. a that's my favorite girl position, right Is there. It? Yeah. Right there. Well, just that look when they're naked with that in front of you. Oh my god, I want to put a, like a napkin on my knee and hold oh. a fork and a knife, you know? Yeah, because <laughs> you're, you're getting butthole and box, right? Yes, exactly. Do you do the I cartoon? Agree. Do you do the cartoon lip smack around your? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. that's not her. That's not her. That is her. Is it? Yeah, look at those nips. They're front and center. Oh, she's great. Oh yeah, I'm, I take it all back. Yeah, she's fantastic. You know what? I had a I'm bad still, photo. I'm still on board with Sofia oh, Vergara. Wow. Well, you can like two women. You're right. <laughs> You're a loud soda. Thanks. <laughs> you know what? Usually I don't allow myself that treat, but today? She's even got a back dimple to hold splooge. Oh, the perfect. Andrew, Andrew in Columbia, we don't have to take your call because he says Salma Hayek from Dust Till Dawn is better oh. than Salma Hayek in Desperado. And I think that is a tough question, but one that uh, I side with Desperado. I side with Desperado only because she was hungry. She was. Yeah. She wanted it. You know, yeah, that true. was her first role. Dust till dawn. You, you kind of knew she was uh, living, living all right. Yeah. They also turned her into like a snake-headed vampire at one point. Didn't oh, like that. that's hot. <laughs> oh, now it's hot. I like the. Oh undead. my god, she's so hot. Oh, you know what though? He might be right. Hotter? I don't know. Oh, she's man. pretty hot she there. Is, that's god a perfect lady. <sighs> Perfect lady turning into a snake. Wow. Remember her name? Satanical Pandemonium. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, remember that's uh, Danny Trejo said. Uh, yeah. Wow, he opens for Carlos. Machete. <laughs> he should. <laughs> Danny Trejo's on the road with somebody. <laughs> yeah. Machete is opening for Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> hey, when I was in jail this one time. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't like the joke. I'm going to cut you up. <laughs> oh man! Look that, at her. Now let's, let's see Desperado after this. Ah, Desperado's good too, Norman. And play the Eagle song while you do it. He died. You know, Glenn <laughs> Fry died. He died. Yeah. Just now, hey, Jacob. W- Jacob willed it. Our producer Jacob, who you're standing next to, can will people's death. Oh wow! Holy hell! I had no. I just the documentary is great. Is it? Yeah. It's, Jacob. It's, Jacob it's does seven push, and a half hours long. It's a little long, <laughs> but if you have nothing to do it in New Orleans at your parents' house, Jacob does knuckle push-ups while it plays in the background. <laughs> <laughs> he claps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Glenn. I'm gonna get you, Glenn Fry. One of these days, I'm gonna get you. I All wish right. we could have. Uh, Debbie, come over for a second. Check in with her, you know, for the new year. I mean, I want to know so many things what's going on in Deb's life. I feel like we should look at a black chick for MLK Day, at least one. Okay, Uh, remember that part when Lisa Bonet's tits popped out in that one movie for a second? I'll look at it. Go ahead, Jacob. Oh, see that? I'll (sighs) do him the favor. She was... Desperado! She's way hotter than Desperado. Desperado, she was like... But she was like, chick who lived in your neighborhood, hot. I love that. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Much Look more like one. a taint, you know, because she wasn't playing a, a vampire character. Right, you know, who had right. This one. Look yeah. at him. I mean, even Banderas, I'm ready to throw it to in that one. <laughs> yeah, look at I that. I think he, see, do you think when they, get, when they make movies like that, when they get, like, the the okay. sex scenes are so much, like, are, what are the, I wonder what the Hollywood odds are that you fuck the chick when you do a, a scene like Pretty that. Pretty good. I, my friend's an actor. He says in just casting roles, he'll, like, get numbers and fuck no, But, but I'm almost saying, like, when, but specifically when you play a role, like, how many, like, Leading men or like people just not if it's leading man, even if people have like peripheral characters who have a scene where they have like a real uh-huh. deep, like hard fuck session, how much that leads to actual fucking between I, those two people. I, I bet, bet it's, it's pretty like high. Decent, but would you think pretty high is like thirty percent of the time that happens? That's pretty high. Forty. Yeah, I'd say <laughs> four out of ten. That's not bad. Yeah. I mean, because a lot of women are married. Hey Jay. Yeah, Dennis, Dennis in Washington's about to ruin your little fantasy with the iCarly girl. Dennis, what's up, dude? Oh, look at that with the glasses. Hey, Jay. Hey, that Jeanette McCurdy. Yeah. Those, uh, pic- those pictures, they were taken by uh, Andre Drummond. Plays what? The distance. He's a big seven-foot guy. Seven-foot. Oh, seven-footer. He was, he was uh, laying it to her. Oh, there you go. iCarly's friends getting split in half. Thank you, Dennis. By some NBA player. This is you, Dennis. Yeah. This is you, wow. Dennis. Way to come in and fucking throw cement in that snatch for me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, dude. Thanks, Dennis. I'm going to come in her eye, Carly. I want to get that <laughs> shirt. This is you, Dennis. Fuck you, Dennis. Fuck you, Dennis. She's banging that uh, guy? Oh. Wow. Nickelodeon. They're going to oh. shut down. Hey, I found out where Michael Jackson's first nose went. <laughs> on Andre Drummond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Woo, that you, just say that, you just say that out of anger. 
Wow. I have, no, it's a very wide nose is what I'm saying. Oh, look at her. Oh, Ooh, that's right before boy. she got dub teamed by those two. <laughs> Damn. Was that the uh, boyfriend? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's them, them out getting a latte. Dude, they, wow. wow. Jesus. Oh, that's a size differential. Oh, if I want that sex tape to come out so Christine, bad. Christine, Christine, oh, you got to take this picture and tweet it out because it's insane. He looks like he just like. He spins around his dick like he's getting cotton candy on a cone. (laughs) (laughs) Stir it up, yeah. (laughs) Jesus. Oh, that guy's got a massive dick. He's probably got multiple ice packs freezing at a time. Oh, God. Yo, what up, y'all? I bet you... I'm busting off iCarly's best friend. (laughs) Yo, y'all want to see pictures of a booty hole? Damn. At this point... Jeez, it looks like he's fucking a child, man. That is... Now, do the one... Christine, grab this one here, where she's, like, on a... Getting a piggyback ride. Oh, that's a scene from Mighty Joe Young. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, (laughs) Jesus. That's... Holy Moses. I was going to say, it looks like a police athletic league coach taking his wayward, uh... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy, oh, boy. Wow, man. That is a cu- Now, that's MLK Day. Yeah, right there. It is. there it is. She can blow him in a squat, without a doubt. I she bet, can yeah. squat a little more. I don't even think so. I don't even think she just had to bend her knees a little bit. No, she's right. Her eyes are at nip height. Mmm. Man. Wow. Oh, I bet he loves banging that chick. Yeah, he's living the dream. Andre I Drummond. Dude, I'll tell you what. The NBA guys get wrapped up in all sorts of, like... Like real lame, like high school worthy sex problems. That whole I was just I just found out recently. I don't know how I missed this one. Matt Barnes, yeah, driving like ninety five miles to go fucking beat up Derek Fisher for fucking his ex girlfriend oh, or ex wife. Wow. Jesus, I love and that uh, that's stuff. a story. Um, remember, didn't like LeBron James' mom fuck? Uh, yeah, what's his name? Delonte, Delonte West. West. Really? Yeah, the guy who has the guy who has visible herpy mouth always <laughs> on the court. <laughs> Fucked LeBron James' mom. After LeBron James bought her a fur Porsche or something, or whatever it was, a fur. Damn. You got a a pink Hummer or something? They always go through, because I think like a lot of basketball players, even though they might be from the hood, they're always in that AAU life. So they're just like playing basketball all the time. So I think there's a part of them that are kind of (laughs) nerdy. Really? You know what I mean? It's like. No, but that's what's great about it. I think a lot of them is they actually have that same thing as like the moms. Yeah. Have these sons who they, you know, these sons go out there and they become these like high level athletes. So they're flung into a world pretty early where they do sort of have to figure out like the I have to wear a suit at press conferences. Mm. I, have to, I wear a suit. At, I just go, but their moms are actually still really, really ghetto. Like Iverson was as ghetto as his mom, which was kind of awesome. But yeah. like LeBron James, that's what's so funny about it. Like his, he, he did. I think he bought his mom like a pink, like an like a electric bright pink like fucking Hummer or something. <laughs> like the fact that his mom would like my mom would never want that. No, yeah, what no. is his mom? No matter how mom... much how famous I could ever get right. and buy her things, she would never want like you know. Yeah, you get me a leopard print uh, Corvette. He gets his mom like a yeah, like she's a salesman for Pepto Bismol. <laughs> yes, you gotta, you gotta drive this. Yeah. It really is that pink. You, you gotta drive the Pepto mobile. Yeah, my mom wouldn't want a pink Prius. Yeah, you know, let yeah, alone the Hummer anything. with the leopard. Seats. My mom would be like, why don't, why don't you give me some CODs? Try to, find, try to find that car. Try to find that car, uh, Jacob. Too that that he bought his mom. It's 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 a real thing. Jacob's still banging pictures of uh, Hi, Carly. Oh, she is hot. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jeanette McCurdy. Oh, she's gonna be everyone's new fucking slap out. You like a young, like a a clean looking lady. I do. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I like a girl who looks like, yeah, I don't want to hear that she's like, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, no, I blew like a hundred guys right, before I right. met you. Aha, uh-huh, see. Have you had that happen before? A hundred? No. <laughs> tricks like, that topped off about a hundred No, days. never, but here's the thing, like, a girl... The regular girl who looks like Sofia Vergara yeah. says sucked a hundred dicks. I disagree. I think she sucked less dicks. No, she's so she hot. sucked a hundred dicks, and all those dicks are attached to way better built and looking guys ah, than you and me. True. I see. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to be your fucking like, well, no, I like you for different reasons. Like, I don't care. Also, like, she was. I want you to like me for those superficial reasons. You like those other dudes. You make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, fuck right. you. Yeah. Where's where's that's that? Why love, I fu- where? That's why I fuck with a bathrobe on. Yeah. <laughs> Lou, where's Lou's, where, where's I love you like a brother? Uh, she was also a soap star 
and then had no career and then got on Modern Family. So that was a lot of dicks in between there trying to get back on yeah, TV. Yeah, man. Oh, I bet she fucking uh, John Stamos fingered her butthole or oh, something, man. I'm no doubt sure about it. it. But I love you like a brother. <laughs> <laughs> was that iCarly? No. Oh. That's every girl. It's every girl. <laughs> it's every girl in my That's head. That's iKatie. Every girl in my head. Was that iKatie? Yeah. No, oh, we never got fucking Debbie in here before they started the show. Damn. She's right, right there. Oh, shit. Who's Debbie? That's Take she's a look right to your right. She's, dude, she's a smoking hot. You, you, Debbie. You would love her. You do, she's at 100 You dicks. will love Debbie. her. Debbie. I, I bet she's not even on Jacob, the Debbie, look over Jacob, at me. Jacob, awkwardly bring up pictures of her on the computer while she's walking around <laughs> yeah. out there. Debbie. What's her story? She's a pro she's golfer. She's a pro golfer. Whoa. And if, if she could, she would marry Jacob and fuck me, if you were wondering. That's at least the order. Uh-huh. Um... But she, um, you she, can yeah, look, like, take a look, take a look. Hey, hey wow, 18 yeah. holes. She won't. Oh, she got her riding boots on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show the pic. You got the pictures up? I know you got them. I know you got them saved, Jacob, you piece of shit. Let's yeah, you the, do. You got the, the quick link. Let's see those pics of her with a big black guy. <laughs> oh, my ben, God. Ben would just lose his shit. <laughs> I got to wear more orange. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we looked up on the show before, I'm pretty sure. Did we? Greg Odin's. Like, oh, wow. Get over here. Look at Wait. that. Yeah. She's on the phone. She's acting like she doesn't want to talk to us. There you go. <laughs> Jacob, do not, Jacob, do not turn that screen. <laughs> do not turn it. Please. Jacob, don't turn Jacob, the screen. He's, he's <laughs> Googling <laughs> you. She's coming in. She's making the movie. Oh. 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 Look at the computer. Look at the computer, you whore. Don't call her that. I will kill you. Uh, she can't, can't hear this. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Deb, we we had to. We, Debbie, 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 Debbie. Okay, Show I know it's your swing. Go you gotta go on air in, in a minute, but we just wanted to introduce our friend Mark to you because we say such nice things about you. Hey, Mark. Big uh, golf fan. Good. Yeah, Debbie. yeah. Yes. Debbie, in in three sentences. How much does Ben fucking hate us? He, 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 he does. No, guys, he likes you guys. Debbie, no, there's not doesn't. a chance. Do you listen to our show? We always promote you guys now. No, well, we I, promote I, you I too. believe you, but that's because he knows you like us. He hates no, us. No, he doesn't. He thinks yeah. you guys are hysterical. No. no. We know. I'm telling you. You're no, the doesn't. fan. Well, he does not. I know him better than most. I'm telling you. Oh. Whoa. What does that mean? Is it the orange? <laughs> it is so not the orange. Okay. That's all him. All right. I'm not orange. Okay. I mean, Debbie, I, you got, I, we, you know, we we're going to get back another time. You're going to let us know on a scale of one to ten how much Ben hates us and what order he hates us most. Remember Mary Fuck Kill with us? Yeah. Now yeah. you got to do uh, his death pool of who he wants dead in this room. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to have to come in early on a Monday That's and like sit hours. in with us. You have okay. to come in a half hour early one day and come sit with us for a little bit. Done. And just, and just dish it. You Let's said do done. It. All right. We're holding you to that. All right. We're going to have a gab session. Awesome. Okay. Jacob just boned up, so you can't yeah. leave him now. Yeah. yeah, he is in love right now. <laughs> I know you can't hear it, but all that's playing in his brain right now is Otis Redding, these arms of mine. Oh yeah, he's gonna that's spit nice part his hair before you walk in. Can I go focus? PJ yeah. Tour. Wait, yes. Yes. Before you go, can you sign my stick? <laughs> no. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. The club. Yeah. Damn. That's it. what he meant. His nine iron. Yeah. Thank you. It's a have, a, have a great show. Thanks, Bye, Debbie. We're all in love with you. Boy, she was a breath of fresh air. Dude, Soder's already batched out to that before. It's yeah. pretty impressive, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regular old picks. Yeah. So impressive. Nice. If I could, I would. She's smoking You can't out. do picks anymore? I can't do not dirty at I, all. I can't either. I can't. Well, you can't at all. You can't go memory. You can't. Memories I, I, out. I, I would go memory. Memories I'd go, out. I'd go, I would go memory before I went G-rated pick. Really? Man, you I would go pick. You got some weak jerk G games. rated? It just doesn't like. I, I, my memory's filthier well, than G rated, yeah. Well, that's that's tough. Like, Merc face, you made it. No, I think Soda was blasting off to these. Oh, yeah, wow. A couple, uh, different ones. But Merc face, you made, a, you made a face. Is that because they're too weak for you? No, I'm a big memory guy. You're a memory guy. Yeah. You just jerk off to all the kids you murdered in villages in, middle <laughs> right. in, in the Middle East. Yeah. I can still hear their screams. Go. That's what does. Sweep. Omega team. Sweep. Oh, Oh, stomach pancakes. You have a silence on your dick yet? (laughs) (laughs) Is it loud otherwise? (laughs) Splurt. Splurt. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. He does it like he's shooting mortars. Fire mortar. (laughs) You ever jizz in your own face? 
I have. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good time. I have a, I have a long story about that. I used to tell on stage. I yelled that oh, true wow. story. One yeah. of my favorite lines, fresh from the tap, blam Fresh from the tap, right from the tap. <laughs> like cider. I did, it in, I did it in high school. I got caught right on a cheek. Oh, that's it. That's the one. But I've never, I will say, though, I've never, the time I came on my own face, I fell off a of bed and my dick was above me circumstantially. I've never, I wish, I've never shot so hard and up that it's hit me and I've never done that. I've had that. I came back from I, fu- fi- I fired out and big plenty of yeah. times but it's never never hit me. Never I, came, arc. I came back from football camp and I hadn't jerked off in like five days and I was like 17 and I was like, the coach was raping you and yeah. you couldn't even look at yourself. <laughs> I'm ugly. <laughs> I deserve this. I'm not even going to start. <laughs> <laughs> I laid on my couch and let one go and it just boom. Yeah. I had one with a hand job. Girl really had a good time with it. Oh, the girl whacked you off on your own face? There's yeah, a lot I'm... of porn videos of that. Really? Oh, really? Is that a thing? That's oh. a good genre. Jacob, bing it. Bing Jacob! Up. You guys still go bing. I like that. No, he bings. Oh, Jacob weird. taught a lesson. Let me tell you something. It's great for porn. Uh, we, we shit all over bing for our first couple weeks doing the show. Uh-huh. Then found out bing may be the most comprehensive porn search engine ever how do you sew because you turn off the filter anything you look, you look up keywords you were on any porn site and then click videos uh-huh and it's the videos of that genre or those keywords from every porn site you don't have Whoa. to go to the site you can just watch concise. it on bing. oh wow yeah you watch it on bing come Damn. shot own face is that a genre of porn we're about to find well, out we're gonna find out if that's how you type it in now you go to uh, no 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 go to the, go to the videos page. What I have see. you done now, nah, Jacob? See. We were, we were bragging about bing. bling bing for you. Oh, they're blurred out. No, no that's just a mere you're stop okay, on the train. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I there we got go. a pretty good hog there. There it is. That's the, that's the guy whacking himself off on his own face, Jacob. Why would you pick that one? Is that what you want to see? You want to see what you're going to look like later to Debbie get, d- get the, Debbie Doniger wait, picks? That's a cuckold. I don't know if I can handle that right now. No, 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 no. Which no. one do you want, Jay? Go down. Wait, wait. Oh, no, shit. It's got to be a hand job. Girl wax off dude on their own face. She male. That's no good. It happens. Wait, that's. But, but I, my question is is that a genre of porn? It, there's, I think there's I some think porn, so. yes. I think it's a sub genre. Sub genre? Facial, but not. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, there's a th- wait, wait. What was that one right above that? <laughs> Two girls. Humiliate him to come on his own face. That's, uh, that's kind of fun. Hey, let's do that one. You're right. Mark, you're our guest. What am I going to say? No oh, to you? Oh, no. I appreciate it. <laughs> Wait. Uh, I like a little CFNM. I, I like that he's got a. I like that he's got an Easter golf shirt on. Mm-hmm. He really does. CFNM? Yeah. Clothed, clothed female, fem- naked male. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning all those things. Clothed female. It's cool because they, they so talk party, like dudes. Parties. They're just like, look at his balls. They're so sad. It's weird to hear girls say stuff like that, so it's nice to hear. You know what I like about those ones? We always degenerate into talking about porn. You know what I do love about those those. Those videos are like bachelorette party ideas. Yeah, the yeah, idea yeah. Of the dancing pop. bear. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, the, the dancing bear. I like those, that. too. It makes me laugh. Um, but the thing is, it, it's uh, they're fake, but what's cool about those, they do get girls who come in. Where I like I like when like a, like a chubby, like there's a bunch of hot chicks and there's a, kind of like a fat one. Yeah. And she sucks his dick for a little while. I always like that part because I'm like, this seems more real. Ah, uh, interesting. Right? Like, yeah. I, I still wouldn't, I wouldn't finish to that video, but that's the part of it that I like. like, right. Right? like when, like, the less attractive girl goes uh-huh. and does it for that a while. That makes sense. Does, are those real? No. No, they're totally fake. Because they do but, a good job. But what they do is, well, there's a video you could look at that's great. We have looked at some Legion of Skanks before, but it was a while ago, but you've seen this video before, Soda, right? The girl gets the cum shot on the thing, and she's way into it. Mm-hmm. And then they actually see her get upset. Like she come because here's what it is. They, what, apparently they bring in what the fuck is that? They bring in like a hundred. Uh, perfect. Wow, that's a position. What is that? That's artistry. Yeah, that is. That's, <laughs> that's a MoMA. Yeah, that's a MoMA shit. There's yeah. a video. There's a video where they have this girl. She. What they do is they bring in like fifty chicks. We'll say. Okay. Yeah. Who agree that they're gonna like you know suck guys' dicks and fuck them and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Then they just want to fill the room to look like a bachelorette party kind of thing. So <laughs> yeah. like, they, have, they, they have just like a hundred like, other girls like come comedy. in. I was going to say with the comedy special. Br- yeah. They bring, yeah, they bring a hundred other girls in. Yeah, Samantha Black and the Blacklist <laughs> brings in... Seat fillers. A hun- yeah. Seat fillers. A hundred other girls that sit there, but yeah. they're encouraged if they want to join in, they can. Uh-huh. And it says occasionally they do, and they have a girl who's blowing a guy, and he just hoses her face down, <laughs> and she stands up, and the face, she, you actually watch it come to her, that she's like, oh man, this is on camera, huh? <laughs> like, oh, that's hey, amazing. Man, it's great. We got to find that. Find the uh, girl oh, regrets boy. cum shot, Jacob. That's Try that. Be a lot of those. 
<laughs> no, but I think only one or two videos. Um, Girl regret. Oh, that's great. We'll you take ever, this in the break. This you ever is watch great. Uh, Oops Porn? That's always a good time. It slips in the asshole on accident. Oh, the there like, it ah! is. This is fantastic. Play that shit. This is the one? Yeah, Christine, you got to put this out. Yeah, the first one. Very first video, yeah. You sure? Positive. Drunk housewife regrets blowjob to stripper. This is so good. Drunk housewife. I like that's already a turn on. Ah, there we go. This is so funny. Where's Loading. your Bing now? Loading. Oh, I'm sorry. Is Martin Luther King Day shutting down the fucking internet in here? I like to think no of, one's here. I like to think that her friend talked her into it. No. She's like, Jacob, do you ever go on porn? <laughs> that was the ad. <laughs> it's the X above it. Ah, that was amateur shit. That was so... Now you got to close that out. No, 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 no. No, no. No, that one you got to close out. Live Jasmine oh, pops man. up. You got to close out Ooh. Live Jasmine yourself, but... Oh, damn. I, I like the thought of her pitching her, her friend pitching this to her. Like, <laughs> Jacob, X out the thing. On the bottom, what is so down? These are all these are all easy things. <laughs> Today, Junior, if you weren't pulling Pud the fucking Ooh. Sears catalog still like a goddamn twelve-year-old. Uh, it's not letting me play any video. Oh Just man, on. damn! This is a dark day. This is a, such a dark day. You know, let's try to work this out, and we'll talk about it when we come back. You know, it's fun. I've been putting off porn, so this is like I'm kind of in a cheat day right here. Oh, this is great. Plus, when we come back, we'll watch this, and then we, we'll get it figured out by we come back from the break. And uh, you guys can talk about this. We can talk about our cruise ship, where there's probably oh, a whole bunch geez. of regrettable cum shots. Oh, yeah. yeah, you guys can tell your tales of ribaldry. Uh, I can't wait. It's the bonfire. We'll be right back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. And now back to the bonfire. Can I say one thing? Fuck you, Dennis. The bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. You are gone but not forgotten, Glenn Fry. You might be an enemy to Jacob, but you are a friend to us and all the campers. It's the bonfire. We're back. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. 844-COMEDY-9 is the number. The Bonfire at SiriusXM.com is the email. Follow us on at The Bonfire, S-X-M. Our guest, this episode, one half of Tuesdays with Stories, our good friend, Mark Norman. Mark Norman. At, be here. at Mark Norman on Twitter. At Mark Norm. At Mark Norm on Twitter. Uh-huh. And uh, you guys were just on the high seas of... The Impractical Jokers cruise together. Boy, oh boy, I'm I'm hurt, and I don't need another cruise for like a year. That was that yeah. took a lot out of me. I've done two a year before with those rock and roll ones, and it's like um, you'll start getting whether you're getting pussy or it's not nothing to do with that. You'll start getting ornery by that fourth day. Yes, for sure. It's not even that you. Feel, I, I don't feel. I never get. Tell me if you agree with this. I don't feel claustrophobic on the boat. I just feel ready to do something else. I don't want to go to that fucking buffet one more time. Right. I don't want to, like, you know, go out and, like, uh, sh and shake hands. Now, this sounds very negative because it's just me. That's me. Me. Being me. This because me. the actual boat, the trip itself was fucking awesome. The people were awesome. Everything Everyone, was great. I mean, everything was uh, like, amazingly great. This is not it. Merc face, can we turn the uh, the screen around so we can take a look at this thing? We wanted to see this so bad. This, yeah. Uh, we got a show, and then it's going to go, and we have a great call on hold here that I want to... I'd love to hear their thing. <laughs> but yeah, I had a wild ride. Four women and four nights. Crazy. What? Yeah. Wasn't it two in one night, though? Two in one night. I, I had nothing on the first night. Wait, pause it. Pause it for a second. Oh, does she have acne? Back it up. Oh, he can't see. You got to back it up. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob's just grabbing it. <laughs> what is that on her face? Back it up and pause it. We'll get into this in a second. We'll have to go back all the way so we can read the thing to everybody. That's what's great about this. Oh, much what man. I said. How long is this? This is, your, this is a this is a beatable video. All right, let's sure. let's go let's let's do this first because I don't want to hear about the boat more. Oh, the boat okay, was wild. Okay. So why don't we get this out of the way? Well, because I was going to say this would go right into that's a good. You don't care? Let's that's do. You want to do the boat first? Let's do the boat first. Boat recap. Boat oh, recap. Crazy long a thing. lot of recaps. First of all, I popped a zit drunk in Cozumel. I think it's infected. Really? No shit. Yeah, look at that. You got off the boat. Hey! Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I won't shave because I, I need the beard to hide it. Oh, man. Jeepers. Never a good time you got Neosporin on a zit. Yeah, because you're shiny. Who was oh, someone that got shit. mad at people for getting off in Cosmo? That's where the boat went, Cosmo, Mexico, and getting and getting ice in their oh. coffee drink. And it's like, don't do that either, probably. Yeah that's, yeah. that's how you get the trots. Although it's weird. You get off the boat, and it's like Hooters, Starbucks. Yeah, right first there, two things. On I the shore. I didn't get off. I'm an old dog of those enough to know there's no point getting off. Yeah. Might as well just stay in the thing. 
on the boat and just kind of own the boat. But Mark came in out of the gates just on fire. Four girls, four nights. Yeah, well, there's 1,700 people on the boat. And after a while, you just start seeing the same people. It's like living in Rhode Island. You know, you just start seeing the same people over which, and over. Which, by the way, I'll be at the Comedy Connection January 29th and the 30th. In there there it's, it's you go. Rhode Island. And, uh, yeah, so you just start going like, hey, ladies. You get their name. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Trisha. All had, like, trashy names. Hey, okay. Courtney. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, after a few few cocktails and a couple of zingers, you're in. <laughs> so where did you go? Your Mark room came over room? to me one time and he goes, it's crazy here. It's like the 90s. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> the phones didn't work. Oh, really? You couldn't use your cell phone. Yeah. So you, you can't like use your cell You chicks. had to go talk to people. Yeah. yeah. No Tinder, no Bumble, just old school finger blasting. And you thrive in that. I do all right in that, yeah. Yeah. Plus, you look around, a lot of guys were on rascals and had crutches True. and like a, a glass eye. It was a very fat boat. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, so you're coming in, and how were the girls? Were they were they uh, hot? No. There were some good ones. It was a Walmart crowd. I'd say there, there was, was a handful of good ones. There was a handful, yeah. 1,700 people on the boat. Half of them were women. I'd say there was like 20 hot chicks. Yeah, but I mean, and of those 20, there was like maybe 10 stunners on the yes, boat. Yes, yes, exactly. But they were there with boyfriends. Not all of them. Some, not all. Most were there to fuck Q, one yeah. of the jokers. A lot of them, or I think all all four of them, like the, the girls come, like they do have an audience that, that does come out to fuck, it seems. Interesting wow. mix, but I will say... Quite a mix, but great people. For doing, they are, all of them. For, for doing uh, the rock ones and this one, like the rock ones are great. And it's a lot more fun as the performer... To be an audience member, because with the rock shows, it's things like when you're bored at one in the afternoon, you can be like, oh, I'll go check out that band in this place. I'll yeah. check out this. Yeah. Like this one, it's like, you know, how many times can you go watch? You know, and by the way, this is not an insult to anybody in particular, but it's almost like my choice is I can go watch Theo Vaughn or Steve Byrne do a set. And it's just like, I don't want to do that like three days. What am I going to do yeah. for three days? Like, yeah. I'm going to go watch Theo Vaughn over and over so again. Break like, down yeah. his act. <laughs> Which is anybody, but uh, the same way they wouldn't want to watch yeah. me do it three yeah. times. Right, right. So my, my point is being like, we do comedy constantly. We're around comedy constantly. Not that you don't watch it ever, but I mean, like, that's the entertainment on the boat. Yeah. This comedy show. So it's like the, the rock ones are cool for that. But performing the shows, and Mark was actually so uh, important to a thing that ended up happening. This is such a cool story. Oh, yeah. But um, the second day, you know, Christine was working on the boat. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, actual Practical talking. Jokers production. Yes. And um, the the... My show the first night was in a place called the Spinnaker Lounge. It was a sort of an amphith indoor amphitheater type thing. I had about five hundred seats. Yeah, mm -hmm. very Vegasy. Yeah, I had about thirty people. Okay, at the first night, and they were great. It was a great show. It was a lot of fun. Um, the second morning, the next morning, yeah, um, we got. I got a call that I was doing a podcast. I thought I was doing somebody's podcast, but they, there was a miscommunication somewhere, and they said I was doing up my podcast in the biggest theater in there. 900 seats. Jesus. Because of bad weather, thankfully, Sal, they, they didn't shoot the Impractical Joker special that day. Sal was available. Yes, oh. which is huge. Huge. I had J.F. Harris with me already, who's another comedian. Yeah. And uh, I asked Christine to go try to find... Uh, it was it was Sal, Mark, and Joey Fatone, if possible, who was on the oh, boat. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, who was awesome. So you get that in sync numbers, you get the Impractical Jokers numbers, and you get the J.F. Harris now, numbers. she could not get Joey Fatone, or well, they never got Joey Fatone exactly, but what Sal did was went over the PA system of a whole boat. Yeah. And got J.C. Chasse. And, yeah. <laughs> Helicoptered in. Chris Kirkpatrick. <laughs> 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 they <bought> the helicopter <laughs> <to me. laughs> Lower him. Drops J.C. Chasse. He's wearing, he's wearing ski goggles <laughs> still with fucking like a, a puffy outfit. Which one was he? He's dressed like Ollie G. He was the one who dressed like Ollie G and had the, he had the braids. <laughs> oh, the almost black one. Yeah. No. He dressed, he dressed it mostly. But, um... Oh, so uh, so she got uh, Sal and Mark came out, and yeah. I did it as a as a Legion of Skanks podcast kind of offshoot. Oh, and, uh, well, dude, I had no idea other idea what to do. Not cool. There's seven hundred <laughs> people in this theater. Wow! And about a half hour into doing it, where it's great, uh, like Gilbert Gottfried just wanders on the stage with us, and we do another like you know forty five with him. It was crazy fun. And you, were Mark, there? came out. Yeah. I mean, trying I was, to sleep. He just tried. He's trying to shake one off for I was sure. So hungover. I'm wearing sunglasses. I, I, I like crippled out there. <laughs> yeah. I had a hunch and everything, and I just sat in the chair. We were just cracking wise. We were on. But he's murdering. And I'm telling you, after that moment, yeah. It changed everything on that boat. Yes, exactly. It was a 180 after that, after that podcast. We go out there, everyone. 
Mark had 500 people at his 500 seat show. I sold out a show. That's of my awesome. Pod. My next two had people hanging from the goddamn ceiling. It was crazy. That's right. Like the, fucking like the Foot Clan and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1. Dude, it all, yeah, it all turned around so huge. Me and Christine got laid right after the podcast. <laughs> right after the podcast. Was that right, right after? after? Immediately, uh, I, I was wondering how you did that. A nooner threesome? That's crazy. A daylight, daylight threesome with your girlfriend. Right there, the waters had to close the curtain because it was too much daylight. Wow. Who is this girl? What's her story? Her name was Debbie. She's a can golfer. I tell, can, I, Duh. can I tell you what her story is? Because this is the one of the reasons I'm bringing it up. Yeah, she is. And this is a quote from her Facebook uh, profile thing. She is a customer service representative at Circle Motherfucking K. Whoa! Customer service rep at Circle K, dude. I remember Circle you had a thing for you were beating all to a Circle K chick for a while. Yeah, when I was a teenager, this heavy chested lady that worked at the Circle K by my house. Those Circle K chicks bring the heat. I'm telling you right now, Seven Eleven, get on your game. Loaf and jug, pick it up. Wawa employees. Get to that circle camera. Oh, no. Wawa mm. employees go bad. There's too much great food there, and they get wide-assed quick. Uh-huh. They always got good jersey. Like, uh, it looks like their hair's just wet, but it's actually just frozen from hairspray. Yeah. yeah. I hate that look. I, I don't mind the look. The problem is when you get them, and their hair's crunchy. Uh. I don't mind the look. I kind of grew up with that look. Like, uh-huh. the girls I would date would have, like, that... They're it's like, man, they have a really tight ponytail, but it's not even that it's tight. It's just, just sprayed in the place. Like, yeah. if they took a ponytail out, the whole hair, it looks like, it looks like, a, like young black girls or right. wish Nick trolls. It's like T-1000. You could break it right off. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Uh, liquid nitrogen. Yeah. Yes. That's the one. <laughs> Frozen and then shot I her. killed her like Demolition Man. Yeah. <laughs> you got Simon Phoenix coming over. <laughs> um, yeah. So I... So wait, hold on. I want to hear about this sun, sunny day threesome. Yeah. It was fantastic. She's just like, uh, she was ready to go. She came out there and she, because there was a girl who we brought on stage during the podcast. Yes. Who oh, said she was a swinger. I forgot so about that. Jokingly, I go, oh, yeah. I go, you're a swinger? I go, that's uh, my girlfriend Christine over there. Uh, we're swingers too. I said, Christine, meet, you know, this girl, this girl, meet Christine. Jokingly, that girl came up to me out there. She's like, is that true about you guys being swingers? I'm like, why? She was like, I'm just, I'm a single swinger. So like, oh. I just kind of go with couples. And I was like, Hey, you want to go smoke weed or something real quick? Yeah, dude. That how she was like, boy, do I? It was it was insane. So wait, but it was me, ridiculously easy and, and way good for how easy it was. Uh-huh. But, I'm sa- but I'm saying, how quick did your temperament change when she was like, "Oh, well, I'm like a single swinger yeah. that looks for couples." Were you like, oh, t- oh, t- oh, t- no, 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 t- no, how are you? no, I'm, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. No, what I do is, here's the problem. Christine was getting blindsided by a major Legion of Skanks fan who was was a a 50-year-old woman cop who was consuming her. I'm trying... To, what I what I do in that situation is I would always be like, uh, oh yeah, you're in that kind. Of, hey, this is Christy, and then Christine could just like here's the thing, it's on her. Well, Christine, was, it's basically it's basically going to Christine like, hey, if you like this chick, great. If not, you're the but, John Stockton to her, Carl Malone. Yes, but I at this one I'm 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 standing outside the double dutch. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm trying to occupy this chick and like be nice to this Legion of Skanks fan. While I'm trying to get Christine to be like, pay a little more attention to this over here because those once those girls and I've had this before. Once that other girl thinks for a second that Christine's not in, it's yeah. a wrap. <laughs> well, it's well, not that they don't want to fuck me. It's not even that. I'm not even being self-loathing. Sometimes it might be that, but I'm saying overall, I'm just saying like the girls gets the girl get the vibe from the other girl way quicker of like, oh, this chick does not want me here. Well, uh-huh. do you know what I mean? They'll, they'll get I that see. vibe way before I get it. Where I'm like, no, Christine's totally cool, and then Christine's looking at me over her shoulder like, I hate this chick. Right. <laughs> and I'm right. like, oh, oh, okay. But she wasn't doing that in this. I'm just saying like, yeah. Sometimes I don't miss it. I go, no, she seemed like a nice chick, and then she's like, no, she said all this crazy shit, and I'm like. You know, if it was up to me, we'd bring home girls who would steal from us and shit, probably. And, <laughs> well, how I heard about the story is from Norman at the cellar, where he was just like, it was impressive to watch Christine work. I thought it was all you. Well, it is, though. But yeah, it, yeah. No, no, but you saw her. Like, she just good. Like, anytime a girl, I get any vibe. Yeah. Anytime I get a vibe that, uh, make sure you let them in. Anytime I get a vibe that, like, there's a girl who wants to fuck, like, I do throw it to Christine. Sure. Generally. So it's those things that you did see her do that. Multiple times in the boat. It's not even a thing where, even in my mind, I'm like, "Well, we're gonna fuck this chick. Yeah. We're gonna fuck. We're gonna. F- I don't think it's gonna happen over and over uh-huh. and over again. It's just a situation of like, uh, I just direct that to her. Yes. Rather than have because of how weird it is, in the same thing where 
Christine will be like, yeah, we can bring this chick back. It's also like uh, she'd get mad if it was like, man, you were really talking to that chick for 45 ah, minutes. You know what I mean? So it's I easier see. to just go, you're in the oh, you're digging something about me. Like, right. talk to her and that's, then she'll broker that deal. I it. love that. That's, 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 that's so funny that you're like uh, you're like the famous athlete on the car lot. It's like, come on in and get a deal. And you go in, you're like, hey, Juice Jones, I want to buy that Chevy. And you're like, well, this is my friend Christine. <laughs> yeah. Help you out with right. all the paperwork you need. Yeah. Christine comes in, she's like, she's going to get you in a fine ass automobile. Uh, this is a great car you picked out. Thanks, Juice. I'll see you back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put you in this. Now, you want a four door. Uh, okay. 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 You want to suck and fuck. Gotcha. <laughs> has she, let me ask you, has she friended you on Facebook yet? Yeah. All right, because all but, four of mine did as well. But wow. Even, yeah, really. Yeah. And, but you know what's cool is even the ones that I was like, oh, this can happen. They live sort of close, even like down the road, also like friend on Facebook. That's good. Jesus. So you make some context for possibly later. I guess you're right, yeah. You guys are just on a sex boat, huh? It, that's all it was. It did sort of become... I did feel like that's what was going on well, that boat. Man, I've, been on those, I've been on those metal cruises. I was just in solo Jack City. I, I, I've been on a couple of those cruises. One of the last ones... I went on. I blew it happening because I got too drunk. Because I don't know, I didn't, I don't know how to drink whiskey. I'm not a whiskey oh, yeah. guy, and it was Fireball. Oh boy! And we were pounding them, and I ended up. I think I may have had my finger in someone when I puked, okay. and, then I, and then it was over. It was over quick. Um, nothing happened really. You know what I mean? So it really, when I mean, all those metal boats, it's so weird that the Impractical Jokers cruise was like. It seemed like the the, the pickings were everywhere. Doug Stanhope was one of the funniest human beings I've ever met in my life. He he's was one of the greatest comedians of all time. Yeah, he's great. He, it, it was a pouring rain one day on that deck. It rained the whole time, too. The weather was terrible. It was raining, but he was like, I'm going in the hot tub. He goes in in shorts, underwear, and his socks <laughs> while it's pouring rain in the thing. He kicks out two good-looking girls who were in there in their bikinis who were also doing this, and he said, it's going to be a fat people party only. No body shame here. And he would come back. And just keep gathering people from the sideline of the oh, boat. That's amazing. And saying, you know, we're having a fat person party in the boat. But to fat people and like the less attractive, he's grabbing them. That's great. And, and dude, I'm telling you, it's a thing that seats comfortably four or five, maybe, maybe. maybe. And if you sit, everyone sits on the outskirts of it, maybe you can get like eight in a circle. He had like 25 people in that ranging from 75 years old to whatever, all fat, all still in all of their clothes. That's great. It was what? a blooming onion of fat people coming out of a fucking... Wow. It was hilarious. And he just kept coming over and asking me to go in. And I was like, I did, I'm not going to... like." And I said, that's a bummer, a personality thing. And I, I think, Mark, you go the other way. I think it's a good thing, a quality about you and Ari Shafir, I think, have that. Uh -huh. I, just know from outdoor. Bon I just know from Bonnaroo, well, I'm an outdoor, outdoor cat. cat. Yeah. I'm an outdoor cat, too, but I'm not... Weirdly enough, man, an adventure guy. Oh, I live I'm, for I, adventure. I, see, I'm, I'm not like when, when Ari makes those suggestions at Bonnaroo. Ari Shafir, man, was like, uh, we're like the last transport goes back at two o'clock. Yeah. I'm yes. already be telling Christine like, well, one forty. Yeah, we're gonna make sure we're back in that area one forty five because I'm not gonna miss that transport. Because and Ari's like, no, tell him to go. We'll figure it out later. But it's like, well, the hotel's a half hour away. He's like, yeah. we'll figure it out. And the thing is. In the morning, him and Norman would be back at the hotel at some point. Sure. They got there, but I'm just With like a smile on our face. I yeah. just want like I, I. But Ari's like, "What did you do?" But Ari didn't even get laid. Ah. This one he wasn't even getting laid. He just kind of, "What did you do?" He goes, "I met these cool people. We smoked some hash, and then there was a p fire pit. There was like a weird right. like." They had, they had, they, he's like, "He found like a homemade strip club they were doing out yeah. in the woods." Like I see, and, and I just and you were with us. And, but me and you have a similar thing to that. I'm like. But then I'm gonna be lost, and like the continental breakfast ends oh, at eleven, so I want to wake up right. at like ten. Like I'm, I'm not an event. I'm really weirdly more I see that van conservative. Leave, like, I get a twinkle anybody. in my eye. I'm like, here we go. The yeah. night's just beginning. Yeah, that's great. I, I'm envious of that. I wish I had more than me, but I'm not. I don't, I don't. Have, that's why I don't take vacation. Hey, you ever want to go see Italy? I'm like, for what? I'm gonna sit in a fucking hotel. Everywhere I go, I sit in a hotel pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, it was under a different situation because I was just getting bossed around by a hot chick. You were getting oh, bossed around tough, by a hot chick. Yeah. That was a tough. I was looking at Norman and Ari like. Oh, but generally God. speaking, are you the uh, let's do it? I let's bet Norman. Ride, let's ride the night out and the see night, how it goes. The night we did mushrooms, I probably would have could have been talked into staying out. Yeah, best night of my life. Yeah. I think that was, that was, that crazy was the uh, the you know who. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes indeed. What um, what were your other so? I know if I could uh, be so bold, the, on the podcast we did, you talked, you came out the night, you said you were shaking one off and you banged yeah, a 55 year old. About 55, what? yeah. I think. I'm going by the rings around her cunt. <laughs> but, uh, 
She was old. She was, you know, she'd been to a Fog Hat concert. We'll oh, say that. back yeah. when they were Fog Hat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Silk shirts and denim j- vests, yeah. right? She'd Hell yeah. seen a, a few winters. We'll just say that. <laughs> Uh, she was yeah, she voted, weather. She voted for Carter confidently. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> He's going to make changes we need. Yeah, she was fun. She she goes, uh, we we're dancing on the dance floor, and she goes, uh, let's kick the tires. Oh, Jesus heard. Christ, she's I've old. I've never heard that ever. Yeah. That's a go, very old expression. I don't know what that means. She goes, come with me to my room. And I go, all right. So we get like... Almost to a room or in the hallway. Why is Slow Ride not playing during this? Yeah, right. And uh, we start making out. And me- kick the tires means if the kiss is good, we'll go all the way. Oh. I had no idea. So she gave me like a okay. real, like a Leonard Skinnerd, and uh, we made out, and then I was, it was on. And no she was shit. like, so she kissed you, and she's like, all right, we got to go back now. My daughter's asleep. Yeah, well, her kids are dead. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they drowned in the pool, yeah. the above ground. <laughs> when uh, they were 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, during Katrina. Did she Facebook you? No, nah, she doesn't have that. She's got a jitterbug. She doesn't yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't get social yeah. media. She's still on MySpace, I think. But yeah, so that was the first night. Then I <laughs> blacked out, woke up. I was in the fucking kitchen area. Christine walks up. I got sunglasses on, and she goes, come to the pod. I didn't think I could make it. I was so hungover. But I had a corona, and we let it ride. You were beast, man. You were fantastic. Can they that. hear that on iTunes? Is that out? We're getting it. We're getting oh, that. We're getting the audio, I think, today or tomorrow. But that's, uh, that's a treasure. Yeah, it's good. It's a great one. Dude, uh, Gilbert Goffrey, to give a, a, a preview... Gilbert God, we were talking. There was there were some kids there, and we were and we were being really dirty. Really, but we dirty. kept telling really them dirty. like you know, hey, you could take your kids out of here. And there was one kid who stayed there, and Gilbert Godfrey goes, uh, "Hey, kid," he goes, "I can introduce you to the mighty Morphin Power Rangers." <laughs> And Norman goes, hey, uh, Gilbert, if you're going to be a pedophile, he goes, get some up-to-date references. <laughs> and then he spent, I'm not going to even exaggerate, 10 minutes straight. Yes. To, to not exaggerate, 10 minutes of just naming different things he would never know. He's like, I can introduce you to Ruth Buzzy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Hazel about- Schultz, the woman who did the voice of Betty Boop. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about soupy sales? Yeah, <laughs> Hot link letter. <laughs> I can introduce you. He just kept going. And it was, man, it was just great. It's it's really it's a funny the audio is going to be great and the crowd was with it yeah and you you know who uh uh, came up to me after that and came to all my shows after that which is this is a a a hit to me where i was just like this is amazing is uh david zucker yes the guy who made uh airplane and naked gun all those movies yeah he came up to me after the podcast and he was like ah that was great you guys were so quick and he's like i usually don't stay up that late but he'll come see my shows and then he came to both of my next shows and sat like right near the front and that's amazing and his chick were loving it yeah he was so cool it was a sweet guy joey fatone ended up being one of the coolest dudes he was great joey fatone was awesome awesome. we sang bye 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 at karaoke christine actually and, and she'll uh tweet this out she has a picture of joey fatone Reading the lyrics to Bye 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 while he's on stage. Great. Well, it's a very complex song. It's a, <laughs> everyone else just nailing it from memory except the guy yeah, who, uh, yeah. who sang it. But he was an awesome guy. I thought he was awesome. Like, there was no one on there where I was like, was a dick in any way. Everyone was super no. nice. People I never met before. Michael Ian Black I never met before. He was he, nice. He was a really nice guy. That was great when you called him out. Yeah, for talking to chicks during yeah. my show. Everybody's quiet. Michael Ian Black's got like six girls around him, and Jay walks on stage, and the first thing he says is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do an act uh, with the uh, the volume of... No, the, I actually, I actually came, I came for your... I said, Mark Norman, how fucking hilarious is he? I go, hopefully you guys were able to hear it over these four girls throwing pussy at Michael Ian <laughs> Black. A, yeah. And I just shut them down. Yeah, that was great. Which was uh, great. But you were... Uh, what were the other three? I, I know the uh, one you had an amazing, you had a fucking uh, a letters for Playboy story or a letters for Penthouse story that I don't even know how that ended. Wait, what do you mean? I saw you in the afternoon one day. Yeah, the yeah. last day I uh-huh. think. Okay, and you said you were handed a piece of paper after your oh, set. Oh, that's right. That's so I, cool. While you were on stage, or no? I uh, I met this girl. We made out during karaoke. I was on the stage and I kneeled down to make out with her. She was on the floor. How does that happen? Oh, was that girl? Did you point yeah. at her? Like, it was that girl? Christine said that was the hottest mm. chick on the boat. She was pretty hot. She was pretty hot. But she was filthy. So she goes, I go, as a joke, I go, meet me in my room at 11. <laughs> and she goes, all right, I'll be there. And so, you know, we're eating or whatever later at night. And I go, well, it's about 1046. I better head over. And I'm walking over. And uh, I see her before in the hallway, which is awkward. And she's like, I'm heading to your <laughs> room. And I go, oh, wow, yet. okay. And she goes, you're not going to believe this. I'm super tight. She said that. Wow. And I was like, okay, weird. So I was like, well, let's go to the room. And she was. Nay, as advertised. It's because yeah. she was a tranny and that was her butthole. <laughs> She's like, why, you, why does your dick smell like bowling alley? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking older woman. So while we're fucking, a girl knocks on the door. 
of my cabin. So I was like, hold on, let me see what this is. I As you're fucking, you went and checked the door? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, you know, we were kind of done, and I was just kind of putting it's it back all, in it's for you go, It's did you your go, boat, did you, Mom. Did you go over in a towel with, where you're pinching it with one fist? I went towel? naked, which is always weird because you're like, you know the girl's looking at your butthole? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> So I went and knocked, wait, wait, uh, your checked the door. Hole, your butthole isn't covered by your butt cheeks? You just have an open butthole like it's a cat? Pre- pretty gaping. Oh, no, he's got a, uh, Mark's got a nice tight ass, I'm betting. Yeah. It's he was right. deceptively good, uh, she's got a really good body, yeah. So Remember? It's like, I kept calling him the torso. Yeah, that's right. It was great. I bet his ass, yeah, it does. I bet it comes in and goes back out. He's got just, <laughs> if he leans forward a little, you can see butthole. He's got yeah. detective walking moonlight ass. Yes. Ah, whoa, yes. what a pull. That's good. Yeah. Damn. That's, good. That's great. So um, I look- Swayze in the morning in Roadhouse when he woke up in the barn. <laughs> yes, exactly. there you go. I got Lenny Kravitz butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I checked the people. It's a girl I fucked the night before. So I go back and I go, can you believe this loser? <laughs> she's, she's coming back for more. And then me and the tight pussy chick start laughing. And then... <laughs> slam, shame her while she's yeah, at the door? Yeah, but we're laughing quietly because we don't want to let her know we're in there. Oh, you just kind of peeked through the... the yeah, peeked through gotcha. the peephole. So then the next night... I'm banging a new chick. Tight vagina's knocking. What? That's hilarious. So full circle. Full circle. And what I did go, you... let me see what this is. And I look through it. It's, it's old tighty. I was like, I can't Jesus. believe it. Yeah. And you're like, can you get out of here? Because this girl's actually tighter. <laughs> <laughs> she was definitely not. But, uh, yeah, I, that karaoke helped a lot. I, uh, I made out with a girl on stage at the karaoke, and I go, it's the last night. Boat's going down. Let's go back. She goes, all right. I guess I could. I haven't been late in a while. I was like, oh, Jesus. Geez, all right. That's a weird way to say it. You it did it weird. anyway, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Garbage. Yeah. I yeah. love you. Yeah, she was a fat Jessica Alba. Nice. I could say. Yeah. All right. I'm That's not that. bad at all. Yeah, yeah. I'll take you it. Just got a couple pounds. Yeah. Um, we have uh, Mike is uh, on the phone here. Michael's calling. And uh, Mike was, uh, I believe this is Mike, the winner of the uh, cabin oh, on the cruise. Oh, Mike. Yeah, I met Mike. <laughs> What's going on, Mark? Is this hey. you, buddy? Is this Mike? Yeah. Mike yeah, was, uh, Mike was up, awesome. Mike, Mike won the cabin from the bonfire here, uh-huh. our sweepstakes thing. We had to win it. And uh, Mike was such a cool dude. He brought his uh, parents, his yeah. mom and dad, were his hey, guests. That's a good dude. Shared a room with him and everything. I tried to get this guy laid all weekend. Good-looking guy. Yeah. Got his shit together. Coming off a, uh, coming off a funky breakup. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sad about it. Watching Mark just, I mean, Mark's got a pussy for every finger. <laughs> and everything Mark did, Mark went to the singles mixer. He's like, I made out with three chicks. And yeah. It was amazing. Mike went to the mixer. He was like, I don't know what's going on out here, man. He had I no, uh, I get it too. I'm not that, I wouldn't, I'm not that bold with shit like that. But, uh, we tried, man. But Mike did end up having, uh, escorts, uh, on his, uh, on his right and left arm that he didn't end up fucking, I don't think, unless he's going to drop a bombshell here. And Christine will tell you they were in the um, bikini contest on the stage. I don't what? remember. I don't remember their names, but they had dumbass names. I mean, their names sucked. What are we? But talking? this girl's body was soder. You would have been over the fucking moon for this chick. You'd have tightrope walked along the outside of the cruise ship to get to her room. <laughs> I'm telling you, she had TFers. Do. She had tits that touched in several parts of her tits. Yeah. Wow. All right. All right. No, dude. And she was like young, and she had a fucking. Tight body. Good Christine freak. said she was in a bikini contest. She was fucking unreal. I wish we could look up her up on Facebook if I knew her name. I remember there was a bikini contest at this radio station I worked at in Tucson. Mm-hmm. And the winner, I was, I got drunk during it, and I was like following the winner around like a puppy dog because <laughs> she had one of those bodies in a bikini. Where I was just like, "Do you want a drink? I work at the station. I can get you free drinks." And she was like, "Get away from me! <laughs> can it we is... help you out? You want to go backstage and meet other guys? I don't care." Uh, yeah, I mean, um, Caesar haircut. Do you want Mike? Me? Mike, what was... <laughs> Caesar haircut that too? Mike, what was that girl's name? Uh, the girl that was in the bikini contest, her name was Tanaz, and her sister was Raina. Tanaz. Tanaz, dude. What are they, Albanian? Tanaz sounds like a, a uh, name that you, like, it's like you're trying to say a real name, but you're having a stroke. Tanaz sounds oh, like, a, like, a, like a fake name. It's like it's like a password for your name backwards. Yeah. Oh, right, or it's right. like a Star Wars name. What's Tanaz? Let's say T-O-N-A-Z. Is that what it is, Mike? Sounds T-O-N-A-Z? like a cab driver or an Uber driver. T-A-N-N-O-Z. T a n n o z. God, that is a gross yeah. name. Tanaz will pick you up in five minutes in a Camry. Outside. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Did five you? Stars. Did you bang her? No, dude. I found out she, her fiance is in prison. Oh, that's geez. exactly why you should yeah, have banged exactly. her. Exactly. Nah, yeah. Well, tell me about it. But she was all super, you know, 
crazy about him and stuff. So couldn't get in there, and her sister was all taken too. So Jesus, man, you guys are making me feel bad, man. Everyone no, I would make you feel worse, shit. Mike. I put a girl on a platter for you, and you you didn't fuck her. What did you do? I met this girl, and I said, "You want to come to my room?" And I was with Mike at the time, and she goes. I don't know. And I go, I got some whiskey in there, which you got me. Mm-hmm. And she goes, all right, I'll come to the room. And Mike came with us, and I would, like, go to the bathroom and stuff. And I was, you should have made a move. We were in my room. Oh, I get that. I though. told you, man, that was like the end of the night kind of hit it, man. I just wasn't feeling it right then. I ah. Mike, don't let him bully you into fucking. Yeah. No, Mike, you should let him bully you. Mark Norman's got to figure it out, man. Yeah. He, I've never been on any kind of trip where he's not. Crushing ass. It's fantastic. He really does, though. You gotta close. You gotta just pull that pin. It's hard, but just do it. They want you to do it. It is hard. What's your What's your fail rate, Mark? Ah, uh, you know, geez, I uh, probably I fucked four girls in the boat. I probably hit on ten. Wow, that's not bad. You're man. going to the Hall of Fame. You're Ted Williams. I'm trying. That's, Mike, spell that name again. Tonight, how is it? T T A N N O Z. T A N N O Z. You better find a picture of this Bing. You find it, I Jacob. I can send you pictures of your email. I got it on my Facebook page. Oh, yeah. oh you do. She looks Persian. Oh, yeah. Send pictures yeah. of the email. It's the bonfire at SiriusXM dot com. I don't. We don't know if that's her. No, nah, there's no tits in the photo. No, 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 no. He he'll he's gonna send it to us. Oh, she's kind of hot. Oh, um, Mike, it was a pleasure hanging out with you on that boat, man. You're a good dude. I wish we could have got you laid. Hopefully your parents bang when you were out failing at getting laid. <laughs> like, I think Mike's with yeah, that weird comedian. Is. Let's hope somewhere in your bloodline the jizz of that family is on something in that room. That's He's, all I'm hoping for. His dad was good looking. That was a good looking dude and apparently had a piece. Oh, is yeah. that right? Oh, his mom said he was holding a hog in there. Wow. <laughs> oh, Mike's boy. mom was pretty honest about that. I, huh? I asked if mom knows if Mike has a big hog and she was, well, saying like his father and we're like, what? And he was, he was, he wasn't even sitting with him. He was across the room. She had to give him a point and he had to give a point back. Like, you know it. Yeah. He goes, I bet you're talking about my big old piece. Oh, what's going on? You guys talk about my John Ham? Ah, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I got the lip ripper up here in the slacks. Uh, Mike, you were awesome, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Email that to us right now if you can. The bond fire at SiriusXM.com. Well, Christine, we're awesome. I love you so. I love the show, man. Keep it up. You got it, brother. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Um, good. Be good, Mike. We'll take one more break, right? And then we'll come back and take this thing to the motherfucking bridge. We got to watch that video. We're going to watch it next, and then, we'll, and then we'll take this story I want to hear from a caller. So they, they tie in. Uh, it's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, R.I.P. Glenn Fry. Jacob put you in the grave, but we celebrate your life. Now if the Eagles back, get back together, hell must have frozen over. Boom! Damn. Because Glenn Fry is so fucking cool, right, Jacob? Yeah, you got fried. Oh, fucking rock sex. Hard to pull off if you're not the boss. It is. Oh, look at that. White oh. guys. Oh. You think with all that physical fitness... Glenn Fry did a health workout commercial and then died at 67. Weird. Well, what's the point, man? Let's just fucking eat. Who cares? Though? Yeah, Ooh, Ralphie so. May's still going. Wow, he went fucking Piscopo route. Like, no one cares about Glenn Fry working out, but he has an infomercial about it? Yeah, yeah. he's Chuck Norris. What a jack-off. Remember, this is what, yeah, uh, Jacob sent us this, like, yo, fuck Glenn Fry. <laughs> and then Glenn Fry died. You know what happened, I think? It's a, for a health club, right? Yeah. So that's what happened was Jacob signed up, and they didn't tell him it was a one-year contract. He wanted to get out of it, and they fucked him for so, two years. So that's mm. why he hates Glenn Fry. It's not even really Glenn Fry's fault. It's not. Glenn Fry just made all these tasty tunes, and then Jacob's getting pissed. Don't you ever want to walk around and try to, like, find a missing girl while you're showing people pictures of her to yes. this song? <laughs> yes. Have you seen this girl? Speaking of seeing this girl. Hey, hey, I, I know you're busy, but look up. She's <laughs> Mitch. She's someone's daughter. She would have been 15 today. You know what she was like? You know what her favorite subject was? Science. Like, I don't know, man. I may have saw something. A guy walked in. Uh, I don't know. What about, uh, let's show, uh, let's see this video. Yeah, we have oh, to watch this, this video. Awesome. We have to watch the housewife, oh, yeah. drunk housewife regretting the beach. We figured out our filters and shit. Oh, I can't believe we never got. We have to hold off on that. The preview, of everyone, for uh, Wednesday is we are going to play the rap by Brend- by Brad Dassey, the brother of Brendan Dassey, for I, making a murder. I don't know. I don't know. What, I Did you do kill rap. him or not, Brendan? Right, so, go ahead. Pause. In the production of stripper porn, often around 20 non-porn actresses are hired as extras to do nothing more than dance, drink, and further the illusion that the filming is taking place in a real strip club. Aha. Uh-huh. Fascinating. <laughs> Now? I didn't know that at all. I guess you could let it run. I bought it the whole time. Yeah, this is this is so good. 
Now show some girls uh, dancing around. So these, some of the extras. These are chicks in L.A. that want to be actresses, and they need work. Yeah. Every once in a great while, an extra will get caught up in the moment and cross the line that separates woman from skank. Mm, this guy's putting a little opinion in here. <laughs> yeah, what a very fucking... Sometimes these women become godless. Remember, these girls are only paid $50. And not required to have any sexual act intercourse. $50. So this girl's just having a really good time. Interesting. Right titties hanging out already. She's standing in front of a guy. He beats a hot batch onto her face. I mean, really hoses it down. Oh, oh. Jesus. And this is so good, She guys. spits out like a pro, though. This so much. She spits out like a pro, though. She doesn't seem to mind. No, she doesn't yet. You're going to see it, Mark. It's great. Look, she goes back she goes for the back. suck. Yeah. She gets a couple extra tastes. Uh-huh. She's having fun right now. That's what she does. Yeah. She's, she's sunk into this. What is it? Oh. We got the loading zone. Oh. Holy oh. shit. Oh, mother of pearl. Jacob, uh. all you stand for. Jake. Has been broken. I'm going to tell Deb about this. I am. I got a semi. Yeah. You think, oh, this video gets even more jerk offable in a second for some mean reason. All right. Well. These are those feelings you feel in yourself that you're upset with yourself about. Like, why do I feel this way at all? Why would I ever want to watch a girl go through this emotional problem? Like but Schadenfreude? If, but what if I don't want to watch it? You do. Okay. No, you are going to like it. Like, yeah. What if I watch it and I'm just like... Wow, wow this is a and depressing... You, you turn that one around? There she is. Hey. There she goes. Yeah. Oh, she goes. good. Ah! Get the camera out of there. She's taking the batch. <laughs> And she's then, looking in his eyes. She's, she's a, a pro. He's got a big. I think he's a, she's. I think he's got a decent fake. hog. No, no. This, you'll see. If she acted this good, she should go into real movies. Then, watch what happens. This is so good. She kisses it. Oh my god. She's in. I'm telling you. You'll see. Reality check in three, two. Watch. Uh, oh snap! I just got caught slurping up the tapioca pudding of a total stranger. Thank God this isn't going on the internet, right? And cue. This is so good. Oh, shit. I mean, I don't know. She, she owned it watch, at the watch, end. Watch right here. Oh, That's yeah. good. That's You're a good right. video, Dan. You're That's right. a good video. Oh, why? No, I was expecting her to flip out. I was no, too, but... but isn't it almost... That's why I said it's a jerk-offable video, because she's like, oh, sh no, she wanted to blow that guy. She just realized now she fucked up. This is gonna... People are going to see it. It's all it is. Yeah. She's the whore that would fucking suck a guy's dick. In a club. <laughs> she just realized now that her brother's going to find that out. Right. I don't know. She seems like a Oh, good... no. That girl's brother's a camper. If there was ever a camper, yeah. it's her brother. This slob's brother. I think she's a good girl. I think she... Well, she's fun. Yeah. Well, you know what? Way to fucking hedge your bets early, Dan, because you might run into this girl one day, and she gives a mean beach. Yeah, and we know really she take And you know, she knows she takes it on the chops first shot. <laughs> she takes it on the chops. <laughs> yeah, that was teeth white. First fucking... That was... She stayed in the pocket to the point where it felt like a pro. It was like when you, it's like when you see a guy throw a baseball at a carnival at one of those speed things. You're like, we well, probably played in college. Oh, yeah. Well, you yeah. Know yeah, you uh, got a little, a, lot in college. a little pop on the ball right there. So with that said, let's take Dutch in Missouri. He's been hanging on. Dutch in Missouri said he's got a strip club story. Dutch, you got to make it sort of fast. We don't have a ton of time, but I wanted to get to you because uh, it says here you uh, went home with a girl that ended horribly from a strip club. That's always going to be a promising good story. Oh, yeah. Dutch. How's it going, guys? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Hit it. Okay, so I'll try and make this quick. Uh, I'm from a small town in Missouri. There's a, a very small strip club about 15 miles north of us. Those are the best ones. Yeah. But Mom and pop strip it's clubs. horrible. But my dad is friends with the owner, and uh, he called me, and he's like, hey, there's this girl, Jessica, at the strip club that wants to see you. And uh, I was giving people drunk rides homes and shit like that. So I go up to the strip club, and it was a completely different Jessica than what I thought it was. <sighs> and uh, it ended up being this stripper who, uh, I mean, everybody called her legs. She had great legs, uh, probably small Bs, big As, and uh, horrible okay. face. Just, just a horrible face. <laughs> and so... Uh, she gives me a shot of rumple mint, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you just come home from a heart so, concert? Yeah. <laughs> gives me a shot of rumple mint. Last thing I remember, uh, my dad ends up telling me that uh, I ended up smoking weed with the owner of the strip club and all those, and then I disappeared for like 20 minutes because the, the owner of the strip club lives right beside the, 
the strip club, and uh, I ended up walking over to the Pizza Hut that was closed. I passed out in the bushes in front of the Pizza Hut, puked all over the place, and this whole time I've been making out with the stripper and trying to do all this shit. And So she gives me a ride home back to my house. We walk in the door, and my dad said, he goes, well, there must have been some leftover rumplements in her mouth because you were tonguing her fucking mouth like a goddamn spin wheel. And uh, so... My dad goes upstairs to go to bed, and my mom's there and everything, and I'm downstairs with the stripper, and we're getting ready to fuck and everything like that. And uh, all of a sudden... Do you you need anything, son? (laughs) Do you need me to bring you and your girlfriend anything? I bet your dad's laying on his belly on the landing of the steps, trying to (laughs) watch through the bars. (laughs) (laughs) Like a kid watching his parents put together Christmas gifts? Yeah. Yeah. You see anything? See anything? I'm looking, I'm looking. (laughs) No, but uh, so the stripper goes upstairs to my parents' room, and she knocks on the door, and she's going, Rick, Rick, can you come out here? And uh, my dad opens the door, and the stripper is covered in puke from head to toe. Wow. And, uh, apparently, uh, in the heat of the moment, uh, I was so drunk and so fucked up that I just puked all over this stripper. And uh, <sighs> my mom gets up, and she goes, Did you let your son bring a stripper home? And my dad says, he goes, he's 18 years old. He can bring a stripper home if he wants. Oh, okay. that's a good pop. <laughs> wow, the yeah, new stripper. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, puking on a girl in Germany makes her come. So mm. you just went with the wrong. You got to find. You yeah. got to find. You got to find your your lane, dude. You're just, just find your lane. You're just international, dude. Sorry, you're just too classy. <laughs> I get it. I'm dating yeah. a girl that's eating scones right now with Scott Bayo's nephew. That's, that's fantastic. What an animal you are, buddy. Good job. And your dad deserves a high five. Yeah. And probably should have yeah, his kids taken away. <laughs> probably the best dad ever. But uh, the next day, I was so drunk that uh, I, I had no idea what happened. And my dad opens the door, and he's like, hey, wake up. Because we had to go do a fucking wine show or whatever, because we owned a bar and whatnot. And uh, I tried to get up, and there's my, my arm's stuck. And I look over, and I fucking jump. And I, I ask my dad, I go, who the fuck is that? And he goes, that's the stripper you brought home last night, and your mom's pissed. And he just starts laughing his ass off. That's great. Your dad lived through you. you. Your dad's a cool guy. You let him look at your cell phone pictures and smell your fingers and shit? Oh, yeah. He'll go to, like, restaurants and shit and pick up waitresses for me. And Wow. Like, I mean, he essentially got you. La- he, he essentially hooked you up with this stripper. He told you to come down and drive her home, right? Oh, yeah. It was great. But, man, the next day, oh, when I finally saw her face in the light, it was like, wow. It's a good thing you got good legs. That's rough, huh? Good legs. Dude, thanks for calling, Dutch. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thanks, Dutch. You know what's so great about that, man? Like, just your dad, like, it's just setting you up to fucking... It's everything I always wanted out of Gary and never got. Mm. To set you up to fuck your boy? Yeah. No, you know, uh, but my my dad asked the girl I lost my virginity to at a diner, when he, the first day he met her, if she'd ever thought about being with a father and son. That's he did it like he was trying to be... He did it trying to be kind of funny, but it was still weird. Is that right? He wow. also he also asked my, uh, uh, Carla. You ever met Carla before? Yeah, my uh, my wife is technically still my wife. I have met, yeah, yeah. Um, he the first time we met her, he we were driving and her boobs were kind of like hanging out. She was going dancing with a friend of hers, mm-hmm. and I was fine with that. I didn't care. It was like it was a guy friend though, but it was like but I just whatever it was, Ooh. it was a guy that it didn't matter. All I didn't right. care. I wasn't worried about a lot it. Of layers it makes there. Sense. No, nothing at all. Okay, he just goes. Wow, he goes, Jay must be pretty confident because he's letting you go out looking like that with some guy. He goes, ooh, that would make me nervous. He goes, you are like va-va-voom and blah, 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 <laughs> saying all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we're like, all right, you know, whatever. And then it's just me and I'm driving. She's in the passenger seat. And all of a sudden, my dad, who at this point I hadn't seen in almost 10 years, peeks through the seats and he goes, you have amazing breasts, by the way. <laughs> I was like, all right, creep. What a weirdo. Wow. Yeah. Fun what dad. a weirdo. It's well, your name. My dad only has one granddaughter named Isabella. It's my daughter. And the first time you met her, his opening words were, you must be Elizabeth. So, oh, oh, shit. True story. I thought yeah. you were going to say, he said, nice little pussy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, just like your grandma. Ah. Tight, bald. Jeez. Jeez, that's, that's an Okerson puss if I've Jeez. ever seen it. <laughs> that's your grandma's pussy. <laughs> the pussy's got a beard and a, and a tongue ring. <laughs> yeah. Mark, anything you want to plug, buddy? Oh, God, do I? I'm at, I'm at Helium in Philly. Yes, go see Mark Norman, one of the best working comics. Hilarious. Oh, so thank funny. You. And that club is awesome. Go Great see Mark club. there Thursday, for sure. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm at Laugh Boss in the week after that. So, I God, I need you. Those are big rooms. i got to get some people in there. Go out and see Mark Norman. Thank at you. Mark Norm on Twitter. 
Thank Don't forget you. to follow him on Twitter and listen to his podcast Tuesdays with Stories with the hilarious Joe, Joe List. List. Yeah. Thank you. Thank great, you. Great show. I will be in uh, Providence, Rhode Island, January 29th and 30th at Dan Soder on Twitter, dansoder.com. I'm going to be putting up more dates. Going to be going to Madison. Going to be going to Cleveland, finally. Going to be uh, going. Polarities? Yeah. Nice. And then uh, that'll be all coming up in the next couple months. Very nice. I, uh, I will be in Atlanta, the Laughing Skull, this weekend. Coming up uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I believe. Uh, next week, I'll be at Albany Comedy Works. The weekend after that, Webster, New York. Yeah. I, uh, I'm doing a local run. I'm getting ready because the, the, the hour special will be uh, taped February 21st at Webster Hall in New York City. Nice. For That's Comedy Central. So please, everyone, please come out to that. That's people from D.C. and people from Jersey and Philly. And, yeah. Pack you know, it out. Friends in Boston. Let's pack this fucking thing out with fans. The ticket link, I am told should be here for me to announce on air live Wednesday. Awesome. I should have a ticket link ready to go out. That's big. I'm going to do it here, and then I'm going to do it on Legion of Skanks. Uh, also, I'm trying to prove my reach to Louis J. Gomez. So if you want to go on that change.org thing and, and vote for Louis to be kicked off of Legion of Skanks and, and YKWD, <laughs> um, please go sign that thing. If we get 10,000 signatures, Louis is going to quit Legion of Skanks. That's great. Wow. And just become the producer. So if you want to see that happen for shits and giggles... <laughs> I sure it won't be forever, but let's see if we can get 10. He says I can't get 10,000 signatures. He might be right. Change.org. Get Louis J. Gomez banned from uh, YKWD and well, Legion of Skanks. And we got the other petition to get rid of his kid. <laughs> Take yeah, the kid away. That's please, another God. Petition. Give it to Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to Nate. Uh, we love you guys. We came in on MLK Day for you. Yeah. yeah the thank, banks are Thank closed. you, Jacob, Lou, and, uh, and Merc Face. Uh, Christine, this has been an awesome one. A lot of fun. Mark, thanks for joining us, buddy. We'll catch you guys live on Wednesday. Crackle, crackle. Bye. Bye.